Hi, I'm Yannick Hanfman. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudler. This is Sebastian Ofner. It's Mark Andrea Wessler. I am Francisco Serundolo. And, and you're listening, listening to the Game to the Podcast. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> Novak Djokovic comes in. He steals the title. He wins the 23rd Grand Slam. He's the first guy in history to win 23 Grand Slam. Alcaraz is going to win Roland Garros this year. He wants to be the greatest player. He wants to emulate some of the big goats of the game. I think Iga's going to win Roland Garros and win it back to back. It doesn't happen often. Iga Sriantec, who is going to be picking up her third. And in the men's, Daniel Medvedev. Rude winning Roland Garros. Akhtapenko is going to get her second Roland Garros title. Carlos Alcaraz is going to win the men's side. Iga's fiance is going to uh, to win on the women's. Daniil Medvedev and Jessica Pabula will bring home the trophy this year. Novak Djokovic clinching his 23rd. And then on the women's side, we're going to put Ostapenko. On the women's side, been on fire, has won titles on every surface. Her name is Elena Rabakina. And on the men's, Carlos Alcaraz will win his first French Open. Novak Djokovic is the 2023 Roland Garros champion. Ends on mute, so I'll take you through it. It is the final of Roland Garros. You don't want to miss it. Ben doesn't even want to talk during it. It is eager. It is Mukova. There's only one place to be. It's on game to love. And eager in her third Roland Garros final. Can she win all three? I think she can. If you've seen my preview, I'm going for eager. Not in two, like the way she's done it throughout the whole tournament, but eager in three today because Mukova, a very tough competitor, and she has won their only match they've ever played. It was on clay. Uh, I did get corrected a little bit by being told that eager did play two matches in one day on that day. So, and uh, that was due to like rain delays, stuff like that. And maybe we'll forgive her a little bit for that, but it was 2019, four years ago. So I don't, I'm not going to read too much into that. Yeah, and the big surprise package is Karolina Mukova. I know you did predict her to get all the way to the semi-final, but she had a ridiculously tough draw. Uh, no other than Maria Sakri in her opening match. She's come all of this way, beating Sabalenka from, Ooh. what was she, 5-2 down in the, in the yep. final set in the semis. She's here. She's playing really good tennis. She's at her career high. She's beaten Eager last time she played her. Can't go wrong for her, can it? Surely, Carolina Mukova wins this one straight sets. Well, Iga, what's she, 25-2 and two at Roland Garros. So, I think it's going to be a real tough matchup. I think that this will definitely be Iga's toughest test. But it, this is the first Grand Slam final for Mukova. So, the nerves are going to play a factor, I've got a feeling, in this first set. I feel that Iga's going to take the first set. And then Mukova will start to see a grow into this match in the second. Yeah, I'm just looking through Eager's matches so far. Of course, yet to drop a set in this Roland Garros. Uh, Tezarenko didn't even have to play a set. So that had no. sort of helped her out a little bit. Who's really pushed her? Hadid Meyer, maybe, in the yeah. second set? Yeah. that's 9-7 in there. the tie break. That's the only real set where I can recall where there were spells where I thought, oh, she might actually lose this set. Aside from that, She's just demolished everyone. Coco Goff wasn't a problem at all. Is Mukova going to be a tougher test than Hadid My, I, I agree with you. I think this will be her toughest match. And that is because Mukova has been in inspired form and playing such good tennis. Beat him. A lot better opposition than Eager's had to beat to get here as well. Let's note that. But Eager started this final yeah. without dropping a point so far. She wins the first three in two minutes. She's 40 love, going for the game to love. Let us know in the live chat, guys. How do you see this one playing out? Are you team eager? Are you team Carolina? I don't want to be dismissive of the way that the matches have gone for eager in this tournament. Bear in mind, she's had quite a few bagels in there as well. I don't even feel like she's really played that great in comparison to her other Roland Garros performances. And if she puts it all together today... Like we might see a completely different match. Like we're we're basing this off how she's played in the tournament so far, which I don't think is a hundred percent eager at all at Roland Garros. 
I feel that yeah, if she's, she's not been pushed to... though, Ben. That's no, why. Exactly. Maybe yeah, she's yeah. not played very well because who she had to push her. I thought Coco Goff just folded like a pack of cards. Didn't really fancy the challenge and just didn't have enough. Eager maybe played probably her best performance on that day. So I'm looking at some of the other ones. I remember the Wang one. I mean, what was wow. that? Six it's love, six it. love in 50 minutes. I mean, it wasn't even. Terrible. And I don't think Eager was great there. Just Wang just. It was terrible. Terrible. Yeah. So I, I would agree in some some aspects of what you're saying. I remember the first match of Roland Gareth when, when I covered Iga. She was, I mean, she was dreadful, really, in that opening set. I don't know how she ended up winning it. Um, but yeah, she's not dropped a set, but like playing like this. And she's in a Grand Slam final where she's a big favourite. Uh, but here we go. Mukova with two little drop shots there, back to back. Yeah. Delicate touches both times. And she's on the board in the final. Not with a game, but with two points. Yeah, good start. Uh, I feel that she's... Maybe the nerves are going to disappear sooner than I even thought. She did well to hold her nerve in that uh, last match against Saba, coming back from... it. She kept saying it was just only one break. It looked lopsided at 5-2, but it was just one break of serve. And she just kept reminding herself <clears throat> of that fact. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's wide from Mukova, and it is eager on the board first in the final. One love. And it looks like you beat me on both brackets as well, men's Hello? and women's. Well, we've got sorely. Djokovic beat uh, beat Alcaraz. Yeah. Mukova went far. We both Definitely. have eager winning, so. Very I've not true. officially looked, but I'll be shocked. <laughs> I'll eat my hat if I'm above you on either. I didn't. I wasn't doing too badly. I think I was like I checked at the semi-final stage. I think I was seventy-sixth on the women's, and about hundred on the men's or something. But well, not too bad. Ben, I don't know what's happened to him. He's started to get some predictions right, and he's beaten me a clean sweep for Roland Garros. But you didn't <laughs> beat me on the qualifiers to watch yet again. No, another loss. Yeah, that's that's the one thing. I think I'm going to start doing like a. I thought it might be more fun for us to do that one. Like we can do like a points like table or something would be fun on that. And then that way, every round they go through, they get a point and then we can actually total them up. It might be more fun. I'm sure you'll win, but it's at well, least we can see how much you win. By. With that attitude, I certainly will. Need to believe in yourself, Ben. Pick some better qualifiers. Well, I went for Pui, didn't I? You went through a round. That wasn't too bad. Ofner, was though, you was have Medvedevich. What are you talking about? I got like double Ofner bagel. Was, Ofner was the number one. Player. Yeah, but Medvedevich, come on. What happened to him? Had a bit that of a man. Said, uh, number one. Oh, no, no, let's not. <laughs> 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 yeah, and on the women's side, I went a bit too big on Antieva. You rightly went for golf. Nice winner down the line from Eager there. Mukova, this is such a tough test. I mean, Iga's been here before and she's won it twice. Mukova, this is her first ever slam final. Iga looking for her third role on Garros and fourth. She, in she did do well at the Australian Open, though, didn't she, a few years back? Yeah, 2021. Injury layoff. Now back to her very best. And I like her on the clay. I think she's an excellent clay court player. She's got the drop shots as well. Let me just see what she's like on the grass. Because oh, uh, it's brilliant return. Yeah. Brilliant return from Iga. Mukova couldn't handle the pace. 15 30. Are we going to get the typical Iga early break? I think we're going to get one, Ben. <sighs> yeah. This is the, the standard approach. I mean, Mukova hasn't had to deal with Iga for four years. So she doesn't know really what to expect. Iga's improved a lot since then. Yeah, let's quickly get some predictions in before it's too late. I fear it might be too late because it is yeah. a bit of a miss hit from Mukova. My prediction was the early break from Eager. I'm not just saying it. I think she will win 6-3, 7-5. Hmm. Not going for a like a dominant one set. No, just a three and a five. Closer. What was your one? I didn't go set predictions, but I oh. went for in three. I thought Eager take the first set. I didn't. I didn't give her a score, but now 
it's tough to say now looking at this because I could say like six three second set I reckon it could be five seven five Mukova then the third set I reckon Ego might just do a, like a, a six two or something. Well, it was long from Mukova and Iga gets the early break. Yazda, come on, Iga. And this is her first big title, right? With the on sponsor. Yeah, true. With this new yeah. kit. We've never I seen like her hold a trophy with this kit on. I really like it. So I'm glad that she doesn't have to wear one of these weird outfits to hold up a trophy again. Can be looking cool. Could it be Ollie. a double bagel, Ben? Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Is Only that good e or bad for tennis? Well, it's good for ego. It's probably bad for tennis. Yeah. Is it good for you? Um, probably not. I've allocated this afternoon for this, but I mean, if it does end in a double bagel, it means that at least I get a bit more free time to go out and enjoy the nice weather. It's about thirty degrees here. I swear. Well, I do want to do a quick podcast, actually, after this. And when I say podcast, it's going to be more of a 10-minute episode. Ooh. And I just want it to be what went wrong for Carlos Alcaraz. Because I've got my theory. Yeah, You can put your theory out there. We'll put it out and He's we will be posting that. No, but we can just say our opinion on what we th right. think went wrong. Yeah, yeah. I Carlos think it's good. And we could, I mean, what he said is pretty much right, but we can go into detail, bring up some stuff and post that video as a short 10 minute video. It's something I want to try as well on the channel Maybe to do more hour. sort of more just <laughs> shorter form content in which we're having a debate about a topic. Yeah. We don't often do that. We definitely should, or we should definitely snip up some of our big pods into some clips as well. Because we do have some like mini debates within these the countdown. So it'd be good to uh, top that up. Mukova. Yeah, I do certainly want to talk about the um, Alikaz Djokovic match. I've got a lot to say, and I think it'll be great to get it out there. Oh, Greg's I've going got a lot to say. Matches. I don't have loads to say. It's more just I'm interested to hear what people have to say based off what I've got to say. Are you surprised how many people are in the stands today? Not uh, really. That, it's that's... Grand Slam final, but There hasn't been many people really going to watch a lot of Eagles matches in this tournament. Yeah, but these tickets were bought well in advance, despite who was there. Grand Slam finals, you always get the people out. Uh, unfortunately for tennis, my opinion on it is it's an elitist sport massively. And I hate to see a lot of these people in this arena today who don't really watch tennis, don't really care about tennis. Yeah, and right. they're there for a nice fancy meal in a restaurant afterwards, wearing their latest dress or latest suit and shirt, what costs thousands of pounds. Yep. And it's all a big day out for them. They're not there for the tennis. I want to see some more people there who are there for the actual tennis. A passion, a little bit of energy, all these corporate stuff in tennis just stinks. It's rotten to the core. Football's going the same way uh, at the moment. And tennis has been like it for some time. It I needs to most... change yeah. to bring more eyes on the sport because right now it's rotten to the core the way it is. This is probably the, uh, the way it went for getting a ticket to this final, there was a little message saying, oh, I managed to get some tickets for the uh, Women's French Open final, if you fancy going. Uh, free meal as well. A nice, uh, well look where it is. Meal. It's Paris. Look where they are. <laughs> New York, Paris, London. <laughs> Say no I'm more. Gonna this, I'm not going to include the Australian one because it's not really the same vibe there. But then free is these locations where you get people. I have people co coming up to me saying, oh, we got these tickets for Wimbledon from work. They've never watched tennis in their life. Don't get me wrong. Brilliant. Love to go there. My issue is more with the ones who go to the big finals, the big semifinals. They sit there. They don't know what's going on. They don't care. They clap every now and then. And they're more worried about what meal they're going to be having afterwards. I feel like, I don't know. It's oh, an ugly look for the sport. That's why, I don't like, so much... why are they there? Why are they there? That's the only reason they're there. That's why there's so much stop-start. They're always waiting to serve because there's people coming in and out who aren't even really interested. They're there to go, and go oh, I'm going to go get another snack. going to go to they, the toilet. They don't know the rules. I'm telling you now, there's people who come up to me at work or where was it? I forget where I was now. It was in a social circle I was in. I can't remember where. And they was telling me, oh, yeah, we've got tickets. How did you get the tickets? Oh, some corporate something or another from work. Oh, yeah. They don't know the rules. I'm telling you. They were telling me, oh, it was so good. 
But I was trying to work out the scoring and they don't know how it works, tennis. And they're there taking tickets of people who would generally really want to be there. Unfortunately, the people who really want to be there can't even afford to get to the tickets oh, yeah. to begin with. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the, the, like they put the prick, like the ticket prices up to about like a thousand pounds or more for the finals. And who's going to be able to a real true fan of like Igor or Mukova right now who wanted to get in? Like they would travel, they'd spend that money traveling to go see it rather than the, on the actual ticket. Yeah, I mean it's terrible. I mean, there's empty seat seats in this stadium for yeah. ev every round up until this final for Igor. Every Still single round. Seats. Are you telling me? It's because there's just not enough tennis fans. Of course there's fans. If it was more available to these people to actually be able to go there and it wasn't so elitist and then maybe it wasn't so rule, so many rules around once you're there, maybe you're allowed to take a photo with the players. You're allowed to film a little bit of the match. Just make it a little bit more open for everyone about being so expensive. Then I'm sure you'd get people there. Wow. Tennis would grow and, and because of it would have a better sport. With more yeah, interest, they... more eyes on it. The players would be more engaged in all of it as well. It's a win, 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 win. It's frustrating. I, well, they've said that already that the prices this year are like an all-time high at Roland Garros. And that's why the early rounds, surely the early rounds, just give them to score. Like if, they, if you want to encourage, give them to like tennis clubs, give them free tickets or something. Send people in to try and drive up the interest of the sport. I'm sick of Stop. just looking at all these people or corporate people in their shirts and newest and newest dresses who don't care about tennis, don't know anything about the rules. They're there for their Mitchell and Star meal afterwards. Yep. Damn right. Anyway, let's get back to the match. That is a brilliant ace from Mukova out yeah. wide. She was under pressure there to go down a double break. Uh, but that was, well, really important timing because if she lost that point, we're looking at another two break points. And the way Iga started this one, she's not missed much, I must admit. I've not seen an unforced error off Iga. These first 15 minutes, that's a terrible first serve wide. 30 all. it could be heading towards a four-love lead here. And it's sometimes Iga matches are over before you know it for her opponents. They just don't know how to deal with the angles and the pace that she puts on. Good drop shot there from Mukova, but Iga's in. Good pace. Lob from Mukova. Iga gets there. She plays her own lob. Uh, Where's that it. gone? That's gone miles wide. Strange. <laughs> yeah. It's not, she's no Carlos Alcalas. <laughs> well, I was thinking the same thing because Carlos Alcalas gets that one back, flicks it around his body, and that's a winner. But Did you see the yeah. thing I sent you on from Twitter? The uh, I probably comparison posted it with... then live. Really? It's not the video I posted, is it? No, no, yeah, that video has been put, and there's the exact same. Oh yeah, like, for Federer. With Fed yeah, amazing. Yeah. So much. The, the thing it? is, I've watched more of that match than I've ever watched any match, to be honest. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was there, <laughs> not doing anything else, just watching tennis. So I'm very much in the loop of everything that's going on, despite not being in the on the stream. The only thing I couldn't do was commentate, but my 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 mind and, and eyes were alive and kicking, watching everything. It's just incredible that shot. But anyway, Mukova here, 40-30. Eager, long, and Mukova on the board. Finally, give her a button, JG. She deserves her first slam final. Can't believe her. Have seen her. It's Carolina. Mukova. She is happy she's got a new button, I bet. Uh, the other one was one of those real old school ones with just the check flag and just when did you make that button? Before the semi. Okay. Yeah. Big match for her. I think it helped her through to the final, if I'm perfectly honest. You've not even had an eager button yet, and she's up a break. <laughs> yeah. Look has had more buttons than eager. Bye. Yeah, well, she's been here before. <laughs> Feel that Iga has to work a bit harder for the button. Mukova in. Good volley. Iga gets there. Long, though. Missed it. Yeah. Iga a little bit off. Errors have just the... started to sleep, uh, creep in now. She's been really good the first 15. Last two minutes, not as good. And I thought, I mean, she was there in plenty of time. All you do is play that one down the line. Maybe not that difficult. Pretty routine shot for someone of her level. 
Yeah, it makes you wonder with Mukova, had she not had any injury concerns after her semi last semi-final at Slam, how far she would have gone in some of the others. But yeah, unfortunately, well, fortunately, she's back now and back to a really good level. You can never say that in any sport. Whoa. Oh, it's Ooh. long from Eager. Another yeah. error. Two. Back to back. And from free love up, Eager now faltering slightly. Yeah. And we have seen errors like this um, throughout this tournament. And that was clearly not off the, the sweet spot of the racket there. It was right off the bottom part of the strings. Pinged it a bit too long there. She still feels nerves as well. It's not she's not immune to nerves. Igor Spiontek. Just a little bit more experience. Yeah, just slightly. Gotta remember, she's still so young. <laughs> this is That's the thing. Not a good backhand attacked it too much. Eager cheat point off her serve. Is this How the we first... doing, Ray? Hey Ray, one of our members. If you want to join the membership, come on. Press the join button underneath and you'll get special live chat features. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribed as well. We're trying to hit 54K now. We hit 53, so I haven't got a button for it. Not yet. Nice rally here. Oh, Mukova with a nice moon ball there. Mix up the paces. Good rally here. Eager come, being brought into the net. She goes down the line. Mukova loops it up. Can she finish? Yeah, with ease. Shout out to Gary as well. Hope you're well. Great to hear the amazing news the other day of your yeah, wife. Fantastic. I'm not sure if it's public knowledge or you've shared it, so I won't say too much, but I just want to say really pleased for you both. Obviously, eclipses everything what happens with the tennis, but Djokovic yeah, on sure. top must have been the cherry on the cake. Most definitely. What a day for Gary and his wife. Couldn't be happier for you. 30 all. Just long there from Eager. This is a big moment, really. Um, 30 all. Eager with a second serve. Mukova could be back on serve within moments. Just needs to get a break point first, though. Second serve's in. Oh, Mukova. Oh, it's good. It dipped Ooh. in. Oh, that's a terrible Wasn't miss it, though, but just lands yeah. on the line. And a little bit tense in the follow-up shot from Mukova. It was inside the court. Usually, she'd put them away. But I feel that was a prime example of, in a Grand Slam final, they're a little bit more difficult to hit. And that's exactly why she missed it. Because all week, she's found winners off that inside the court. All of a sudden, gets to a final, and it's massively wayward. Most definitely. Needs to reduce the unforced errors today. If uh, anybody fancies helping us get to our Roland Garros tip target, we're halfway there at the moment and we've only got this match and the men's final to try and achieve the target. You can get on the top tippers leaderboard and we will get you some player buttons played. We'll give you some shout outs and it will help the channel improve and grow. Eager wide down the line. Locked into a juice. Gary's in saying, backstory, Tanya, who's his wife, uh, was diagnosed with late stage ovarian cancer in May 2015. She really should not be here. Yet she is in remission now for over two days after many, many difficult days. Two years. Two years, sorry. sorry. Two days. <laughs> two days. <laughs> underplaying it <laughs> yeah massive honestly it's it's, amazing um, it's bigger than anything so really pleased um for you and yeah. tanya that things are on the rise and yeah very difficult to to overcome yeah i think I mean, everyone's been touched by a story of cancer in their life so my granddad death. died of cancer and i think sad. everyone knows a story or someone close to them who has died from cancer so most definitely so yeah Celebrations in order. Cheers to you, Gary and Tanya. Here's one for you. Good backhand cross court there. Volley goes long, long. from Mukova. Break point disappears. Yeah. 
Todd in saying muck of a digging in now. Yeah, it feels like there's one good shot followed by just like a one slightly worse one. Maybe she didn't pick the exact right shot to come to the net on, but you can't blame her. She's got to try every different type of shot in this first set to sort of suss eager out a bit. It's a feeling out process this first set. Yeah, it's been the longest game of the match so far. Over six yeah. minutes, that one into the net. And Eager's turned it on its head and has advantage now. 3-1 up. How do you think she's going to be feeling in her, in her mind if Eager gets the 4-1 lead? When you see someone like Eager with four on the scoreboard, it's almost the set's over. I think it is over if she holds. I think it will be then full focus on the second. So it's only your so break, though, Ben. Yeah, just the one. She's got to just keep that same Sabalenka mindset. That's the thing. She's Sabalenka remember... mindset. Well, don't give, don't have her mindset. Have the mindset Gosh. when you played Sabalenka. You don't want to have Sabalenka's <laughs> mindset on a situation like this. She'd probably play better in a situation like that. She just wouldn't do well if she's leading. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the irony of that. Great backhand from Mukova. She was doing that really well against Saba, and she's done it well Shocker. here as well. Brilliant. What was Mukova's form like just coming up before she got into Roland Garros? Because I was a little bit put off by it, I thought. I'll have a look. Let me have a look. That wasn't too bad. She just lost to Badoza in the, Ooh. what was that? The semi-final, was it? I don't know. Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. No, not even that. Round of 16. The third sure? round. Yeah. Oh, that's a poor. No, it's just one out five. of eight. That's quarter final. One that's slash eight. One out of four is quarter final. But no. No. Let me have a look. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's only because I she. Know, she... I know what you mean. <laughs> that's why if it says four people left, I know that's what the way. Yeah, she lost to Begu in Madrid. Mm. She I'm beat thinking... Begu here. Didn't she beat Begu here? Yeah. I believe she's got revenge. She beat her here. So it means nothing, those ones. Different type of surface. Comes in. Great volley with the backhand. She seems to be really good at that one. She's holding Eager hostage right now in a deuce. Can Eager find the tennis to put Mukova away right now? Mukova, these long rallies just helps her grow into the match. Against Saba. She enjoyed the long rallies. Starts trying to work her magic. If you are just joining, please hit the like button on the video. Let's get up to 100 for this final. Subscribe to Game to Love if you are new as well. We'll be doing the men's final tomorrow and we do have Woo. some podcasts lined up for later on this evening. Woo. And we will be continuing the countdown podcast once this uh, Ronald Garros has finished once it is at completion. Oh, that, was that was so close from Rukova. Yeah, I think it's out there. Umpire off the chair checking. It was just yeah. long. And that means advantage eager now. Oh, dear. Seemed closer. Well, she's been here before. Who are the crowd supporting here today? I'm trying, I can't really work it out. I think eager. Until she's really, really battering her, and then they'll probably support Mukova. I, I like the fact that Eager is getting support, though, these days. It wasn't always the case. Oh, it's too good. And Eager clenches the fist. There you go, 4-1. Eager, Eager, when the Polish girl be rolling in Each victim be serving them Bread sticking up bagel and I'm eager when you know the child I'm a feature, I'm gonna beat ya I'm eager, I'm gonna suit ya Now you can handle my heat now Right, now pressure's on Mukova because she has to do a lot better on her serve Yeah Well The, the game she got, was it a hold or a break? Uh, it a was hold. a hold, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. But it was very hard work. <laughs> this is the problem, isn't it? 
She just needs to hold here, and then at least you don't face the breadstick possibility because breadstick in a final, it's just it's going to play on your mind. I feel going into that second that you've only won one game. Yeah, Eagle won twelve points out of the first fifteen possible ones. Ten minutes yeah. it took her to go three love up. And it took last ten minutes year... to go three love up, and then to play the next two games, it took eighteen minutes. Well, it's good signs from Mukova, at least. Like this means either Eager's levels dropped or Mukova's growing into it. She just doesn't want to give Eager the satisfaction of just getting an easy set. That's the problem. Like Coco Goff, obviously last year she got breadsticked in the final in the second set. I don't think Mukova wants to face the same fate here today. So let's see if Mukova can avoid any break points. Ice. Ice. Oh, yeah, that's what she was doing well as well. We forgot her serving against Sabalenka. She out-aced Sabalenka, didn't she? Yeah. And the other stat that I brought up on the preview is uh, she converted five out of five break point opportunities, 100%. Okay. <laughs> so, I missed your preview, sadly, but I will watch it back <laughs> later on. I'm sure you will. Leave us a comment. <laughs> just so we know, I'll just leave us a comment on your favourite bit. I'll give No, I'll give my prediction. After it's done. I want you to just write the exact the exact stat that you like the most in the comment section. Just to nah. confirm you've watched it all. Well, we'll watch it all. It's only five minutes. I'm that busy. <laughs> <laughs> just have it on the background. Just listen. <laughs> I to see my ugly mug. Well, Mukha for doing well here. 30 love. Good return from Eager. Backhand cross court from Eager there. Slice Muck down the line. Muck. Long from Muck. <laughs> much. I, I feel <laughs> put too much on it, that one. <laughs> Long. <laughs> she doesn't muck about, does she? <laughs> Terrible. Uh, how many of these puns are going to be coming? Yeah, that was really over the line there from Mokova. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Just watch the <laughs> No, I know. Don't. Snail sound. I don't think we can rule Mokova out yet. No, definitely not. It's first set. I think you can rule out this first set, though. Oh, they look like an ace. Just long, yeah, I think. Double four. Long, double four. Don't give Eager First three points. The match. Maybe it's evening out with some of her aces. Are we up to 100 likes? Not yet. Like the video. 33 to go. Is it? Is it not for you? 34 for me. Don't know why I've got one less. Probably behind. Yeah, lagging. <laughs> nice forehand, eager. Oh, it's just into the bottom of the net from Mukova. What's that? Maybe a slice could improve. Maybe get Barty. I've seen in her do corner. a few dodgy slices, actually. Get Barty in. She'll teach her. <laughs> I suppose nobody's trying to enlist the services of Ash Barty. Only it's only that one Australian player we heard, wasn't it? Gadecki. 29 likes to go now. Look, shut up after that. Woo! Maybe I have to get like a fanfare trumpet. Oh, nice that's brilliant. Hand. Good backhand to save. Yeah, she's better when she hits the ball like that. Without... <laughs> Her backhand's, backhand's so good. Solid, isn't it? Yeah, she's got a really good technique on the backhand. This is the crazy thing with Eager playing Coco Goff as well. Coco Goff's backhand so good and Eager just kept forgetting almost and kept going into the backhand, attacking it, and then was actually getting finished on points. As soon as she goes to the forehand of Coco, it's just an easy match. It's weird. I don't know why Coco's forehand is just so much worse than her backhand. Mm, I don't know if that's true. It, it definitely is true. People use tactics against Coco Goff, and they have said it out in public. Just go to her forehand repetitively, and you'll beat her. 
So I did that with it. you. Go to either play. side <laughs> for me. <laughs> Down the middle. <laughs> That's the one I struggle with the most. Just the, a high bouncer in the middle of the court. <laughs> Lose all control. <laughs> I do like pepper in the backhand of yours for a bit. Normally it's just slice that comes back. That's why. You keep peppering it. But you, you quite like that, don't you? If I just keep playing it to the same side. I'm I'm often expecting like to have to dash over to the forehand. I just don't like the ones where you go back behind me and then I have to like do like a weird little dance because my feet are all tangled. That was some good tennis. There you go. She worked her way into the net and then finished off with a volley. Moved her from side to side to side and then gets the volley. Perfect. Yeah. Eager looking good. That's one shot that Djokovic was not doing well at all yesterday, coming in close to the net, and then the backhand, he was like flicking it long, like it just wasn't going in. Yeah, Casper Rude rubbing his hands together. I can see nothing <laughs> less than a straight set victory from him. Bagel. <laughs> Bagel's Vera. Bagel's Djokovic <laughs> takes the title. And then just give Rude the trophy now. I mean, he's already flies, won it pretty much. Flies back to uh, Norway to a big fanfare. Waiting for him. Three people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, drop shot there from Mukova. Eager, yeah, not the quickest Ooh. around the court, I'd say. He might be able to celebrate with Haaland after he's on the Champions League. No, don't. He better not win them. I'm going to get my Inter shirt on tonight. You don't want City winning it? Nah, I can't have them winning the treble. It's terrible. And plus, I saw a guy who already tattooed the treble on his leg, and I want that guy to just be like thinking. Why don't oh, you like no. Man City? Well, United won the treble, didn't they? If I can't have them winning it as well, it just means it's the other ones Ooh. less. I thought it's because you just love the Italians now. Yeah, and that as well. Three European uh, tournaments, three Italian teams in the final: Roma, Fiorentina, and Inter. Could Two all three lose? Who was in the Europa League final? I just said Roma. No, no, for the other side. Sevilla. Oh, okay, not a British team. We have two British clubs, good though. There's only Ooh, one, though, what's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one. That's it. Him. Oh, Muck of a hole. The Muck the holds. Big hole from a big. Can't believe it. Have you seen her? Yeah, it could be a massive few hours for Norway tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Harlan will be watching. He'll be in attendance, I'm sure. Do you feel yeah, like from Istanbul with his trophy sitting in there with waiting for Rude? Do you feel that Djokovic in this tournament, all he's coming across is just people that anger him. He's had Fuchovic, he's now he's had Rafa fan Alcaraz, Rafa fan <laughs> Casper Rude. Alcaraz is have... not a Rafa fan. You need to stop saying that. He's it's lazy general. commentary. It's, it's lazy, lazy commentary, commentary just because he's Spanish. No, it's not because he's just he's Spanish. He's it is. He's... Rafa, oh, I've never Why didn't you won. say Fakina's never... a Rafa fan? I've never won the Miami Open. And Alcaraz is there. Hey, go have my trophy for your trophy no, cabinet. Who does that if he's not a Rafa fan? Grow he up. Wasn't a Rafa... He's not a Grow Rafa fan. Grow up. Get out of it. Get ad... him out of it. Carlos Alcaraz has respect and admiration for all of the big three. In fact, he's probably more so he of a better fan Djokovic than any of them. He would have given Djokovic trophy, would have he? Do you reckon? He given... Well, he did, didn't he? He would have given Crumbled. Djokovic a trophy. He just no, did he today, Ben. He, he gave it to him, did he? Oh, I can't like wait it, for this preview. Join us for the preview. It's coming up after this. It's going to be tasty. I'm going to have a few more beers first. Yeah, I Rachel, Alcraz, not a Rafa fan, I agree. It's lazy commentary from the tennis media and Ben. Why did, why did he give his uh, trophy to Rafa? You should join the tennis podcast. Lazy commentary. Why, why did he give his trophy to Rafa? We didn't give a... What are you talking about? It's Miami one. He said, you don't have one in your thing. You can have my trophy for your trophy cabinet. Bit no, weird, didn't. isn't it? He didn't say that. Bit weird, isn't it? 
talking nonsense. Have a day off. Of course. Ad class is respectful to all the players on the tour. Oh, wait, are you getting your Norway it's shirt on tomorrow for the final? I can't wait to see it. Casper Rude painted face. I think Rude will beat Djokovic, yeah. How many sets has he won against him in their four meetings? Three tomorrow. That's all that matters. How many has he won against him in their meetings? All right. How many times? Clay's his best surface. How many sets has he won against him on Clay? I think there was a 7 5 in Rome. I think I saw once. What, he beat Djokovic. No, he lost 7 5. Not oh, bad, is it? Well, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, you're right. Rome, quite similar surface to Roland Garros. Third time lucky. That's what they say. Well, it's the fifth match between them. So maybe fifth time. Grand Slam final. I think you're smart. Oh, look at him oh. going. Oh, he How did he do in the me. last? How he did he do in the last? Done me. What, against Djokovic? Two Spanish players. He oh. said, all I want to do is avoid a Spanish player for my third Grand Slam final. That's what he's got. He's got what Brilliant. he's asked for. Now let's turn up, Casper. <laughs> Can't wait. I've never heard you support him so much. I'm glad you're actually getting behind him for a change. I'm always behind him. It's funny that it only One takes Djokovic to make a final to see your true support in somebody else. I love Casper. I think he's a great player. Eager here, gonna get to five two. Well, she just made an error. Forty thirty. Has Eager played a Roland Garros without Raf or at Roland Garros yet? Well, obviously not, Ben. Not no player has for the last sixteen years. <laughs> just checking. Absolute Something beast. different about this final, then maybe for her Just having her idol there. It's not. It's not her idol. She hates it is her him. idol. No, Eager's idol is Rafa. You're right there. You got something right. There you go. And Eager's got that one right too because she is leading five two. Wins the last point. Thirty nine minutes five two. Just give her the Let's button. Yazda. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager, we know the job. I'm a beach, I'm gonna beach. I'm eager, I'm gonna see you. Now you can handle my heat now. We've got what boy check in saying, so can you start commentating the match? Instead of this silly talking, I'm here for the game. That's right. Don't worry. We'll be more focused from now on. It is a big moment in the match. Yeah. One thing I would say is um, Mukova's opted for the drop shot a lot and it has worked most times. I think that's been her best shot of the match so far. The drop shot. Eager, though, looked really solid first 10 minutes and then sort worked of well. level dropped slightly. And we've been on serve ever since. Worked well against Saber as well, that drop shot. I feel like the drop shot against Saber, they don't utilize it enough, but it's tough to when you're getting the ball pelted at you at 100 miles an hour. That's the thing. They knew balls, look pretty new. Yeah, seven games. I think that's the, uh, the standard. Is that the right? Balls, please. I think it's seven games. Just make it up if you don't know. That's what you usually do. What was your guess? One game. <laughs> oh, it's a shank. That's a shank. Shank off the racket of Mukov into the net, love 15. <laughs> Barely moved. Oh, it was a double hit. Shank. Really? Didn't really go up very high. All right, don't I'll worry, guys. I'll do it. Go on, then. You do it. Don't know where it is. I'll have to just find it now and do everything. Go on. It's good for you to do something. Well, Eager currently, she's got the pressure on her shoulders right now because she's leading. It's in her hands, this set. She's handling it very well, though. Been here before, of course. Drop she shot, really Mukova. Lose finals. That's a poor drop shot from Mukova. Go yeah. to Ken saying, yes. it wasn't very good. It's seven games and then every eight games after that. Makes sense. 
Oh, cheers, go to Ken. I didn't. I f oh, yeah, it does make sense. I thought it was every seven. Yeah, I mean, don't know how that would work. During the middle of a game. <laughs> don't think they can do that. Of <laughs> At 40 love, they change. <laughs> oh, just long. Three set points. Like I said, I thought this set was over, and it seems like it's going that way. Eager. Three set points in this Grand Slam final for a third Roland Garros. Galos. Triple set point coming up. It's going to attack one of these ones. Well, I have to. Long on the first serve. Yeah, this one, I'm telling you what's going to happen. Forehand down the line. What do you think? Backhand down the line. Okay. Oh, she went to the point just a chop. <laughs> oh, it's landed on the baseline. Mukova with the volley. Eager gets there, loops up the lob. Mukova backhand smash. Forehand down the middle. Oh, Mukova's tried some special stuff there, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> In behind her. Uh, Eager takes the first set. Yazda, 6-2. Come on, one set away from another slab. Yazda. Eager. Eager. Stiong. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager when you know each other. I'm a beach I'm gonna beach I'm eager, I'm gonna see each other. Now you can handle my heat now. Yeah, and typical eager fashion, straight down the tunnel. I feel every set she has, the first set, she'll always go and have a toilet break. Mukova also joined her, and so did Ben. So we've got three people there off to the toilet. Um, but only one of them's up a set right now. It's not Ben. It's Eager. 6-2. Is she going to close out in straights? I think she will. I went with a 6-3-7-5. So first set, it was even more dominant than I thought. We've got Nature Explorer, reckon, 6-2-6-3. Race and it's been disappointing so far. I'd hope for more of a fight. Mm. Has it been disappointing? I think I don't, I don't know. It's maybe not had the necess it's not had the drama, has it? It's not been much. There's not been loads of really exciting moments. That's one thing I would say about it. But I thought Eager has played very good, steady tennis on the whole. Better than some of the other matches he's played this role on Garros and does certainly deserves to be leading. Gary saying, I fear another ladies' final that is over before we even settle in. Eager's greatness is impossible to ignore. Yeah, I mean, it was a safe bet to go for to win this role on Garros. Me and Ben both had it, and looks like it's going to happen again. Um, I guess it's a case of what is the score in the third set, in the second set. Yeah, she needs feels. to turn up. Yeah, need to see a little bit more from Mukova here in this second set. Hopefully the nerves have gone now and she can just realise that she has to come back and just start attacking Ego. You can't let Ego get on the front foot. I think that's the one thing had admired it really well. She should have probably watched that match and thought, how can I implement some of the similar like game style? The, the deep shots are always the key against Ego. If you play it in the middle, you're going to get finished. Keep it deep and Ego's in trouble. Agreed. Second bill. Keeping count. Yeah. Just gonna. This is how I count the matches. One beer. You say that every set. time you have a beer. Third beer. Third beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to uh, <laughs> overindulge. Some might say. How many did I have for the for the semi final yesterday? I was about to score the final yesterday. The, how many <laughs> for the semi final? I've done that already. <laughs> I think it was about four yesterday for that one but the last two sets i couldn't even really have any because it was just a bit depressing casper rude 4.5 tomorrow it was at sixes last time i checked no it wasn't really i'm joking it was today's match mukova was at great sixes. value that 100 4 on 450 return casper in Pretty five money. what's that one it probably must be about like 15s or something 
Djokovic in five, you don't even get any good odds. I look yesterday. Zach asked how many slams is Eager, Eager going to win? Hmm. I'll start with, I think Roland Garros is on their own. I think she'll win 12. And then I'll think after that, I, Mate, I think... She... <laughs> just hear what you've just said, yeah. I mean, Rafa's only got, what, 14? Yeah, I think she'll... I mean, if so she's going to go like two this, off Rafa. Yeah. And then I think that she'll win maybe of the others. I think she could get up to maybe 18 slams, maybe like that. Eighteen slams. She's not as dominant on the other surfaces. This one, I feel that she could be a female raffer. Now she even does all the things that like she's just emulating Rafa, even in what she does backstage. Old. I mean, it's she's so young. Do you not think she can win another nine? In terms of active players on the WTA tour at the moment, what's like? Where does she rank in terms of slams? <laughs> wish I had uh, that to hand <laughs> sadly I do not <laughs> well you, you're a tennis podcaster now you should know that one yeah I'm more of a in Googler so if, I, if it's still on Google I don't know if I'm going to find it oh good start I really like the first point of this yeah. uh, second set Mukova wins it love 15 and maybe this could be signs of what's to come the, some of the best tennis we've seen is the first point of the second set. So, so who's the in. person we could be in for a good with, match? Who's the person with the most? Uh, do you think that's active at the moment? Hello. No, there's one. I don't even feel like I should even include her really. But she is. She's confirmed she's going to be playing in the grass oh, court. Venus swing. Williams. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> No. <laughs> Venus is retired. That doesn't count. Saka's got four, obviously. Okay. Um, I feel Halle like out. Two. And Kvitova? Two. Okay. Azarenka, two. Muguruza, is she even playing anymore? Two. Okay. Yeah, everyone's just on two, really. Kerber, three. So that's what I'm saying. So it is quite big then. This one today. Oh, no, not yeah, really, because so she's just going yeah. to four. Yeah, with a Saka. I think, yeah, five yeah. will be the so one. She, so she does tie. Uh, wait, who's got five? No, she'll, she'll, five will be the one. Where yeah, but she four goes, is her. She goes yeah. in the lead, right, with a Saka. Yeah, level with a Saka, yeah, essentially. Ooh, big shot. Mukova, cross court. Ooh. 15-30. Maybe Mukova's going to add herself to the list. Raducanu's on that list somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get a second when she comes back. Wimbledon. Will Radu Kano win Next a second year. slam, Ben? Next year's Wimbledon. She's coming for it. Heard it here right. first. Yeah, back to the match. <laughs> Clip it. I'll do it with a straight face. Fifteen thirty, though. At least she's turning up. Yeah, needs an early break. Bit of a tentative inside-out forehand, but as long as you keep these ones deep, don't let Eager start dictating, no, it's gone mid-court now, but she's still in the rally. Backhand slice. Eager. Oh, bit of a short one from her, from her on that one. Great depth from Eager on that one. Can she finish the next ball? She can't. Mukova staying in this rally, but great rallying from Eager. Oh! She's moving her around. Mukova, great recovery. Oh, it's a terrible forehand. It's so well, though. Oh, so that. well. Must be tired. She does keep the ball going well, doesn't she? Yes. Great Good recovery player. skills. Rebecca was a great one. player, too. Yeah. Amazing player. I mean, I expect her to have multiple slams. Do you think we'll ever see Mukova in a Grand Slam final again? Yeah. As long as she stays fit, yeah. I don't think we will. Oh. I mean, she doesn't have that same bottle, that same like a Sakari or people have. And after this tournament, she's going to be. Well, she's For already going to be. A... Just get people who just get to a final and they just won't ever again. She's going to be I a seed. Be... Now for Wimbledon. What does that mean, Ben? 
Doesn't mean she's going to get to a final again. I mean, she's going to get someone unseeded like her in this tournament. <laughs> they might not and go, go out. out. Yeah, it's the worst <laughs> thing possible. I think it's a curse being a seed. Well, it's mere doesn't mean anything the seed on the women. <laughs> Andreeva comes in and cleans her up. <laughs> Yeah, big shout out to, uh, is it Alina Kornieva as well, winning the girls' uh, women's Roland Garros. She's on course for a calendar slam on the juniors at the moment. Is she moment. another Russian? Yep. It's a lot of good Russian tennis she players. Beat, beat Mila Andreeva in the final of the Australian Open girls, and now she just won the Roland Garros girls as well. Why don't they put her in the main draw then? <laughs> well, maybe she just didn't want to step up yet. Well, she's certainly good enough. She can beat Andreeva. Yeah. That is just Maybe. out. Yeah, just out. And Eager yeah, holds. And there's been some promising signs, though, in this second set from Mukova. I thought she played very well in that opening game. If she can yeah. keep this up, she's going to get some games and maybe we'll go to a, a business end. But unfortunately for her, when you play some good tennis, you have to get the the, the, the games on the board. And she's, she's played not good tennis, right. not got the games on the board. And I'm just worried for her now because the pressure's on this service game. Second best at the moment, for sure. Looks like it in the rallies. She's playing like recovery tennis. Like the, I mean... You don't win many matches just from playing recovery. I'd know. <laughs> Definitely don't win too many. I think you can win them against people who don't hit so big, but it's just when you play people who hit really big, very difficult. This brings Eager in. Oh, she's hit the net cord and it's ballooned up and gone long. Would have been a winner, Look, though. Yeah. Fortunate. When's the doubles final? Uh didn't did it not already play? The, your doubles men's or women's? Men's. Oh, I think that's tomorrow. When's the women's? Is Klachika in there? Oh no, the women's is tomorrow. No, Klachika went out early. Which was well, a, the double big shock. <laughs> yeah, big shock. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, Taylor Townsend and Fernandez versus Shaysu Wei and Wang. Wow. What time's that on later on today? That's tomorrow. That's uh, the early one before the final of the no before the final of the men's. Yeah. And the men's I think the final men's must must have been today then. <laughs> Eager saying Yazda. Yeah, very occasion. loud. Yazda. Yazda. You don't have any information on the men. I'll have to look. No, uh, it's on after this. So, Ivan Dodik, Krejcik, and Vilegen Gil. I don't know much about the Belgian pairing. Oh, I do. Yeah? But yeah, mate, they're always about. Yeah, I'm, I don't follow the doubles that much i'm not gonna lie i know the big boys like your cabral or and farrow whatever his name is so leila Fen fernandez and taylor townsend beat pagula goff six love yeah. six four yeah in the same impressive i think fernandez Ta townsend are gonna win i told you leila, leila townsend's a great player man she's gonna win the grand slam today what did I say to you, Leila? I said Leila Fernandez will win a Grand Slam next before Raducanu. Look what's happening. Yeah, she's smashing it. <laughs> I said to you, Leila Fernandez is going to win more titles than Raducanu will in the rest of her career. It's not like saying Sinia Co like is going to win I mean, more did titles. Did I say that or not? Leila... Then? And look what's happening in the final. I don't know what you're even saying right now. It's a bit embarrassing. You're embarrassing. <laughs> no, you're not embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> nice drive, Farley, from Mukova. 
Sm- oh, it's it the worst smash I've seen in a while from Mukafa. He didn't Smashed fancy it so that. far wide. <laughs> he did not want it. Oh, that's. I think this could be it. That's what. That's a big, yeah, decisive moment. The head can go after that. I mean, that was so far wide. I think she forgot where she was on the court. I think she just mishit it, man. Okay. Two break points. Crowd probably hoping for a comeback right now, just so they can justify those thousand pound tickets. Oh, it's another terrible error from Mukova, and it is the break. Yeah, poor people. Yeah, even uh... <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen such a flat celebration for a break. Like. Atmosphere what, is slightly dead in there at the moment. I think that like, Eager's thinking in these situations. I think, think she's thinking this, Ben. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up, bagel in. I'm Eager, we know the job. I'm a beach, I'm gonna be a job. She gets fast oh. coming to the net there. <laughs> yeah. She was getting a bit fresh there, thinking that she was just going to attack, but it didn't work. Yeah, when Eager's just winning so easily, and there's not like the rapturous applause of the fact that it's like a really close match. That's the problem. Yeah, the that's fans... it. it's just expected. Like, we're just waiting for her to win. What? What? How late was that call on that serve? I mean, it was in. So, I'm sorry. Well, they're saying it's not. We just looked in. It just was such a weird serve that it, it was like a real slow she one. It was in as well. Until she went <clears throat> about 10 seconds after it bounced. Second serve's in. Slice from Mook. Cross court muck, middle muck. Eager, happy to play this rally. Good slice there. From there's muck. the muck slice. There's oh, another there's... one. Oh, <laughs> it's a terrible close. one. Next it wasn't, one. No, it was close, man. That would have like been a great of, drop shot. It's like one of Djokovic's drop shots yesterday. It was falling right in the net. Those drop shots didn't like them much. Well, he didn't need them, did he? Well, he. By, in the last fast. couple of sets, <laughs> he didn't want to do a Del Bonis on him. 21% left on the laptop charge. Should be all right. Yeah. <laughs> I, think it, you know, I feel like um, Djokovic didn't want to bagel him yesterday either. There was like something there that he allowed him to get a game. It was like when Rafa allowed him a game in that match. Was it Barcelona on his birthday? <laughs> he didn't want to bagel him because it was like it's like soul crushing. <laughs> get the bagel. I don't think that's true. I think he would have I wanted the it. bagel if he could have got one. No, I don't think so. I think he has a lot of respect for him. He just made errors on that game. No, I don't think Djokovic was amazing. Didn't have to be in those last two. Good winner there from Mukova. Just reminding people she's still here. <laughs> well, eager if she does that's the thing. And against Halab Meyer, these second serves were getting attacked on every opportunity, and she was getting finished off. Uh Mukha was not gone for them enough. Like Halab Meyer was playing as if like this was the last tennis match she's ever gonna play. And that's yeah, how you have I to think, play. No, but because I think um Eager's just I can't explain it. I mean, the second serve, she seems to be taking a little bit a few more risks on them. That's Maybe. just such a waste, man. Yeah. Long. Uh, second serve points one, 59%. It's not that bad. No, no, it's good. That's what I mean. It's good because it's not... I feel like they're just better second serves, though, generally. Maybe. I mean... That one wasn't, though. The one a second ago. I feel like... Had Admire stu- stood a lot closer in 
to try and just attack. Mukul I like not... attacking your seconds. Step yeah, into I mean, them. I may as well just play just a normal rallying shot in. It would be less. It would be less bouncy. <laughs> Do not think <laughs> I plan it to have less neck clearance. <laughs> <laughs> Clip the neck cord there, eager backhand Mukova playing it into the backhand again, slice down the lines long, and there you go, three love. Slice is not very good. She's not great at it, and it's a consolidated break. A ruffle of applause in the stadium. Rapping, <laughs> ruffle, ruffle, ripple. <laughs> Rupturous. Not seen much of Mukova talent today. We've got Moto GP saying, JG, why were you absent for the goat of it <laughs> versus Carlitos, Matt? <laughs> no, no, why are you hiding GP. inside? I <laughs> why can't stand Moto why GP. Why are you hiding inside a up. cave? <laughs> Moto GP, listen, mate. Why, what are you doing? Why are you always in there talking to me? Because there's no Moto GP on at the minute. Just to come like, in. What, do, what do you want me to say? I'm telling you, you know, now, MotoGP, Casper Cass, <laughs> Rude is going to demolish your man tomorrow. Whoa. There's going to be a bagel there as well. Oh, <laughs> Harlan's going to inspire him. Harlan's going to be crying on his knees. In the... It's probably better off with Harlan if he turned up in place of Rude. He's big enough. <laughs> six foot six of him. Aces big. thundering down. Storm in the net. I imagine Harlan. JG was crying buckets and buckets of water after Carlos started cramping. We had a bucket hat on. That's about the closest to it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Not when he was losing. I didn't. No, I think I was crying. Was... The writing was on the wall. That's why I refused to turn up to the stream. <laughs> refused. <laughs> Ben asked me, I was like, no, I can't. I, I'm not doing it. Carlos is going to win. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, yeah, how weird that both men's semi-finals, there was a bagel and two breadsticks in the semi-final. It's just a bit ridiculous. Didn't Might get one that. in. Well, are we going to get the bagel, guys? Let us know. Is it going to be a 6 6 love? I'm going for the bagel, Ben. Well, at least we get the bagel button out. Do you reckon we'll get it? Yes or no? Yeah. You reckon we're getting a bagel as well? <laughs> I think we could. I feel <laughs> like it's going... Mukha has not looked very good in the second set. I thought she'd warm into it. She's actually doing more errors now. Yeah, it's not been Mukha of a match for uh, Ego. Nah. <laughs> Got a stat from well, Gary. Do you want to read it out? Ever has two of the most mind-boggling tennis records of all time. The one I just mentioned and 56 slams, 50, 52 semi-finals or better. I mean, that's a bit nuts. 52 out of 56. That is crazy amount of semi-finals. Wait, she played 56 slams and got to 52 yeah. semi-finals. <laughs> Literally. I think everyone dominant. else is just trash. Yeah, most likely. I don't want to take anything away from her, but she was just far superior. With her. A bit like Eager is really on this. <laughs> it, the thing is, that's more dominant than Eager is. I get the feeling that Roland Garros, we should give Eager like a smaller racket or something. <laughs> Do not think. Just like, or the opponent a bigger racket or just something that they're help, just. Ben. It's like a handicap. She can only play with one hand. Well, okay. My other suggestion is. Depending on your ranking, you get like a game's head start lead, like a handicap on Eager. What's wrong with you? So you should be punished for being good. No, so it's I'm not you've got such a loser's mentality. Losers, losers not mentality. Losers. No, it's, it's just make it competitive. So you're going to take. So if someone's really good at something, you're going to make them played work. in just like a like a amateur league of something when there's really yeah, good an amateur league. The, this is the top. Yeah. This is the this is the top is it of tennis. What, it's what, the that's what I mean. This is the top and this is the score. Yeah, because she's that good, Ben. Yeah. So that's why I'm just hypothetically throwing it in there. Does she have to be handicapped 
to maybe she's only allowed to play with as she has to play single-handed backhands. She's not allowed the double hander anymore. She tied with her why don't she play with her legs tied? That now you're she talking. That's that's it. Or maybe just tied just enough so she can only shuffle to the net. <laughs> well, she's only Plays allowed to serve and stand still. Opponents playing rollerblades to get around the court quicker. She's not allowed actually on the court. She has to stand behind the baseline. Yeah, she's not allowed in the service box. She's only allowed to play <laughs> outside of it. That's how ridiculous it's become, sadly. Eager with her dominance. Eager domination. Oh, I thought that was going to go out. Yeah, if you have, if you are an eager fan, go check out the eager song from last year after she won Roland oh, Garros. Massive winner from Mukova Ben. That was a have good a look backhand. at that one. This she is a more really good winner. Yeah, well, just class. got under Much it enough. Confident. She needs to see eager falter a bit to get give her a bit of confidence. I feel eager's not faltering. Just, that was a baseline rally where she. Out well, out here, yeah, eager. Keep it deep. If you drop it short, you're gonna lose. Fact. It's just out. It's wide. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why she's celebrating. I think yeah, she's lost her clapping. edge. Here. She's lost her edge. She's celebrating that. Is eager accepting it? Oh, eager just eager's accepted a, it. I think eager's just allowed it. <laughs> oh, this! I mean, is it, what is this? This is a charity event. Charity match. Exhibition. I mean, it was wide. Why don't they show the replay? I'm telling you, the ball was wide. I look wide to me. Eager's just literally just, let's just get on with this. It was the ball was wide, and Eager was like, "Yeah, I can't be bothered." Why just are we delayed? I'm mad she comes back from that. Well, that's the just, last match. I'm sorry, but that's just yeah. taking taking the biscuit. They give you a look of a game which she didn't even win now. The last match they played was an exhibition. This one's going away the same way as this uh, match. I can't even talk now. I'm just losing focus on what I'm even saying during the sentence. What? Don't know. Did they get? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's out. <laughs> I'm just watching. Out. Oh, don't say that. Well, then you know what they say? Kindness. It's I'm mistaken. gonna give Mukova the button anyway for the point she didn't <laughs> even win. And she like deserves more... that because she oh, got wide a brilliant from Eager point, now. Wide. It's the turning point. It's the turning point. J of G. She's going to break back. Are you related to go G of G in the chat? No, just Motor GP. Yeah. My brother. I thought it was a family member. I thought it might be Freeman. G of G is still going for all of his kinks he wants with Eager. Kinks? Kinks. Yeah, that's GFG. Oh. You ask him. What the hell? <laughs> so weird. He's, What's he's going, using my name, but really there? it's him. Using my name. Oh, great winner from Eager there. He's using me for his own gratification. I think Eager just gave her that game just to make the crowd a bit more interested. Yeah, maybe. But something. I mean, I've never seen that before. The ball was wide. It looked wide. I wonder if anyone said anything on Twitter. They didn't show the <laughs> replay, did they? Peter saying, goes, keep it up, enliven the proceedings. Serves in from Eager. Mukova on the run again. Eager goes just back behind her. It's just too easy. Peter saying, Eager, for God's sake. <laughs> what do you want from her, Peter? If you saw Djokovic doing this, you wouldn't be going for God's sake. You'll just be going, yes! Be loving it. 
Casper Rube was all over the place tomorrow. It's got to embrace it. Domination. Would she have done the same to Sabalenka? I think she would. No, I don't think I so. Think she, I think so. I think it would be think... three sets. I don't. I feel on slow clay, Eager's never dropped a set against Sabo, and I feel it'd be the same. It'd be closer sets, but she'd still beat a straight sets. I looked out. That's... That is out. Well, break point Mukova to get back on serve in the second set. I feel that in all of their meetings, that this is the only sur like surface where it's not on Sabah's racket against Eager. That's why she doesn't do well on slow clay against her. Get the beers in. Get the beers in. JG, get the beers in. Sorry, I was just watching a video of um, Sister Pass and Badoza. <laughs> Nude in a pool somewhere. <laughs> Canoodling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't know how much more I can take of it. It's just getting a bit much. Oh! oh no! no! Mook oh, down no! the line. Oh, no! She's Good back. Job, She's going to win. Can't believe her. Never seen her. It's Carolina. Mook away. Um, well, she broke, as you can see there. And we're back on serve. No matter what we're saying, sod the handicaps. Mukova's in this match. She's in the final. She's doing it for the fans. She's doing it for the stands. She's doing it for the people who have like traveled all the way from the Czech Republic to be there to watch her. I don't know how many of them there are, but there are definitely some people in there that have made the journey for Karolina Mukova, she's back on serve in the second. And there will be no baked goods. Well, in the, at least the first two sets of this final. We've got Peter in same. So maybe not that boring. Oh, Snail Sam, that point charity can't be... Uh, can't do that, surely, in a final. Biting eager back right now. Andres saying, or Andreas, or saying, Mukha in three. Mukha in five from Ghost. Don't think Ghost has worked out how the women's game works yet. Still getting used to it. Good return there. Mukha has to consolidate. Eager loops it up. Smash from Mukova. Back to Eager. Volley into the net from Mukova. I mean, she wasted a winning position there in that rally. And Eager just looped it up and just said, go on then. And then she just got the next ball back. If you are just joining us, hit the like button on the video. Just hit 100. Thank you for hitting 100 likes. Feeling alright, cause the second hundred's inside. Thank you for helping us hit 100 likes, giving the people what they like. It's such a delight. Cheers to everyone who hit that like button. Keep smashing it so we can get to 200. Eager with the backhand there. Forehand look of Eager loops it up. Mukova forehand, eager backhand, eager forehand cross court. Oh, she's being pushed around by Mukova there. Mukova getting a little bit of confidence. Isn't it strange how the ball that appeared out and eager just didn't even want to challenge, allowed Mukova to have the game. She then got broken in the next game. And now we look like we have a match on our hands. Mukova with a little bit of confidence. We never got to see the replay of the one that was in or out. It was just accepted. 
Here we go. 15 all. Clips the neck or goes long. Second serve for Mukova. If you're just joining us, smash the like, subscribe. If you want to help us get to our tip target, it's that one down there. We're halfway there, but we'd love to get there by the end of Roland Garros. Send us any super chat you want. We'll get some player buttons played for you. We'll give you a shout out in the live chat, but it would mean a hell of a lot to me and JG. And it is 30-15 Mukova. Sean, one of our members in, saying, was that arrogance or good sportsmanship, I wonder? Thirty fifteen, Muck of a serving to get back at 3-3. Three, three. Good serve. It's long. 40-15, the crowd starting to get some sort of energy. The first bit of energy we've seen from them in this entire match. And it's because Mukova is finally making a match of it. The chants are starting. The clapping is starting. 40-15. Is this second set up for grabs? Good serve, Mukova. Wide from Eager. There it is. It's 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> the button out jg can't believe her never seen her it's carolina more go home the way she plays is so damn fine she know i should take her time look at her go she's in her prime we're gonna finish you one last time more go home Serve just long from Egan. Is Mukova going to win four games in a row here in this second set? Eager looked like she was going to run away with it. Going to bagel her. But somehow, one line call has changed the entire final. Oh, Mukova just wide on her shot there. Zach saying the Mukova button so good. I said is good. Sorry, I added the so. We've got Rachel, one of our members in, saying, go, Caro. Don't know if that's how you were saying it, or is it go, Caro? Let me know which one was right. One or two. Serving now. 15 love. Taking her time here. Serves in. Mukova, good return. Eager forehand. Mukova wide. Maybe she's just letting her back into the set just to take it away again. Hit the like button if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe if you're new. There's a lot of people screaming for Carolina right now. Eager at 30 love. Oh, good serve. Good return from Mukova. She's gone big on the forehand and missed. Tommy C saying, JG gone for a nap or something? Not gone to the toilet. Nature likes the Sabba button. Right, 40 love. Going for a game to love to stop the rot. Forehand to forehand, cross court, down the middle, on the baseline from Eager. Slice Mook, Eager in, Mook, good backhand, good rallies now from both of these. Playing it down the middle a lot, Eager trying to hit with a bit more pace now, moving her around. Down the line, game to love, Eager, Eager. <laughs> Thank you.
Zach saying 293 watching. Come on, guys, hit the like button. These guys work hard to give the quality content. That's right, Zach. Appreciate all of the support. Gary echoing that as well. Cheers to Gary. He, we can always rely on you, mate. But Ega stops the rot. It is 4 3. Ega Sviantek. What a backhand down the line. Really good backhand. Should we get the eager button out? She stopped the rot. There's no bakery though. Eager, eager, Spiontek. Spiontek. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager, I'm a feature. I'm a feature, I'm gonna feature. I'm eager, I'm gonna see ya. Now you can handle my heat now. So, 4-3, a massive service game. It could have all been over by now if Iga had had her own way. But she did not. And it is Muk serving at 3-4. Serve is in. Forehand to the backhand of Eager. And again, Eager down the line. Really good play. Playing it back to Mukova. Mukova goes down the line with more pace. Wins the point. I think she's got to be aggressive. Has to play her game. Don't get dictated to by the world number one. Eager, no matter what happens here today, she will remain as world number one. I'm interested to see where Mukova would move up to. Let me have a look. Blocked back in play by Eager. Inside that forehand, Mukova. Volley, hit clips the net. Just enough to slow it down before Eager came in. Uh, Mukova would move up. Let's have a look right now. So I think she started the tournament in like 43rd or something like that. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, one sec. So she is... Oh, wow. I mean, if she was to... She's up to 16th in the world. If she was to win here today... She'd move into the top 10. I mean, that's a bit nuts, but fair play. Still a chance. Second serves in. Winner from Eager. That's how easy it can be. Yeah, I mean, it's brilliant hitting from Eager. Second serve, just not, just not quite enough on it. Just no, no top spin, no side, no nothing. Thirty fifteen. Serves in backhand from Eager, volley from Mukova, lob from Eager, smash from Mukova. Forty fifteen. Here we go. Can she get to the business end of this second set? Great smash from the Mook. If you're just joining, smash that like button just like she smashed that ball away. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're trying to hit 40. No, we're not. We're trying to hit 54,000 <laughs> subscribers. Let's see if we can get there. Serving. It's in. Eager loops it up. Backhand Mook. Forehand Eager. Mook long. Forty thirty. If you want to help support the channel, send in 
a super chat of three dollars or more we'll get a player button played for you if you want one we'll give you a shout out and you can help us with our roland garros tip target we're at 50 percent. there's only this and one match left is someone going to come in and save the day Muck of a second serve needs to get this one in with something so that Iga doesn't just batter it. Good one. Good forehand, Iga. Backhand, Mukova. Oh, it hits the baseline. Backhand from Iga into the net, and Mukova does hold, and it is 4 0. One point can change a match. And there was one point where it landed. It looked out. Eager didn't even challenge it. And they allowed the game to go to Mukova. That was at three, love. Um, it then went 3-1. Now we're at 4-4 four, four in the second set. Could we be going to three, JG? Did you just hear me talking or was I lagging? I didn't. You just okay. came in and went, oh. That was it. Okay. No worries. You're fine. No lag. I'm going to have to head off any second, though, because I've got 3%. I don't know what happened. Get the uh, brightness down. Yeah. Turn it all the way down. We can still hear you and see you, but you just won't be able to see what's going on. Mm. I'll do that earlier. You're I can right. do the other bit. That's why I said at the start, you have saved it for the whole thing. It just goes to a third set. You have to go on your phone, otherwise. Love 15. Here she comes. Oh, here she comes. Mokova, what has happened? She'll what is, you up. is she playing a lot better now? Yeah, she's playing a lot better. Maybe that's it. She's an eager eater. Oh, oh here she comes. Mokova, she'll F you up. If you know that song, Man yeah, Classic. Should get down the tap and do that. <laughs> I think I'm still having a lot like down me? there. Okay. Yeah, we can hear you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Do not adjust your earphones and TVs. Love 30. The muck. The muck. The muck is on fire. One second. I've lost the match completely. It's not working at all. Use your phone. Why would you still have it on the screen? Just going to drain that percentage. I think that's what the issue is. Yeah, probably. Love 30. Serves in. Muck of a great return. Forehand eager. Backhand eager. Muck of a drop shot. Eager's there. Oh, Muck of a scrambles. It's in. Eager goes for the lob. It's in. Smash on, from the baseline. Oh, she's missed another smash. Stop missing That was a the big smashes. moment. That ah, was a massive it. point, man. Such a big point, man. She's come Hit through it. Hit the bracket. Oh, you hit the bracket. Yeah, I just smacked it. For those just She's joining, missed... if you haven't already, please hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Mukova's turned this match on its head. And she's fighting hard in the second set to try and get this one to three. 15-30. Just following the script right now, JG. Second serve for Muk. Muk, Muk, Muk. Muk, Muk, Muk. Mukka, Mukka, Mukka. Mukka, 
Sin with the second serve. Good forehand down the line. Eager cross court. Oh, so far wide from Mook. Another error. She'll take it. Yeah. She'll take these errors at big moments. Big points here for the Mook, and she's not taking them. Oh, he's. we've lost video. Maybe we're just going to have audio from JG now. Must mean the percentage has gone so low it can't run the camera. Maybe he'll join back in on his phone. I'm guessing. We can't hear you either if you're speaking. Try it. Forehand. Long from Eager. Break point. We can't hear you, JG. Join on your phone if you really want to be heard. 30-40. Break point, Mukova. The crowd getting what they want. We got Thanuke in. How are you doing? Saying hi, Ben. GTL friends. We got Bonnie in saying Mukova showing signs of winning. If Iga continues serving that way, she, JG may return on another device very shortly. First serves into the net. Mukova showing signs of the semi final right now. Taking her time, Eager here. This is a huge serve. Led second serve. Bill are saying, does JG not have a charger? No, he doesn't at the moment. It's in the wrong place. Unfortunately, he's going to have to go and collect it later on. In about, well, once this is done, that's where we'll be traveling to. It's a dark. Double fault from Eager. You don't say that very often. It's the break. Mukova going to be serving for the second set. Not as straightforward as it seemed earlier on, is it? Can't believe her. Never seen her. It's Carolina. Mukova. Look at her go, she's in a prime. We're gonna finish you one last time. Right, so it is 5 4 Carolina Mokova, and it is a service game away from leveling the final here at Roland Garros. Can she get this to number three? Eager going for Roland Garros title number three right now. Wow. I mean, what, what a set of tennis. It's turned on its head. And praise the Lord that Mukova finally turned up in this final. Maybe Eager dropped off a level a little bit, but Mukva definitely started showing up. The wind blowing. The sun is shining. Is everybody liking the video? Subscribe if you're new. Send us in a super chat if you want some player buttons, or even if you don't just want to support the channel. Help us get to our tip target of two, well, of 500. We're halfway there. First serves into the net. Second serve. Mook. It's in. Eager, good forehand. Backhand. Mook is wide. It is love 15. Is this going to go back on to serve again? Or are we going to see a third? That is the big question. Love 15. Here we go. Love 15. Taking her time here.
Yugoslav saying, Ben, you should try the music industry. Super talented. <laughs> Appreciate that, Yugoslav. Appreciate your kind words as well. I know that you're always at tenterhooks with JG for saying, love the GTL community. Love to all. Appreciate that, bud. Nice forehand there from Mook. Backhand eager. Mook were just in with her slice. Now she goes, she's missed that same backhand down the line twice now. Love 30. Bouncing the ball, taking her time here. Serve long. It's not been convincing a way of closing out a set right now from Mukova. We saw something fairly similar in the Halab Meyer match. Eager being able to come back into a set. Good backhand there from Mukova. Slice from Mukova. Maybe use a bit more of that, but she gets pushed back forehand from eager the slice from mukova slice from eager long it is 15 30. mukova not facing break points yet we have a feeling she slips up ever so slightly we're going to see break points for Iga Sviantec right now. Gene insane. Please don't give it away now. Serve is not being found on the first. Second serve. Forehand. And it is 5-5. Five, five. Wow, the break and an error from Mukova just to give it back. Oh, it's not. What? It's not break. <laughs> it's, just, it's break point now. What? Why did I think that was break point? I'm uh, no, I've lost the plot. Maybe I've just predicted the future. Every time we do that on GTL and we press a break before it actually happens, it always happens. So I feel like I've just jinxed Mukova right now. Apologies if you're a Mukova fan, but it tends to happen. Good backhand, Mukova. I've got a feeling it's coming now. It's weird the way things work on GTL. It's happened many times. Good backhand, eager cross court. Yeah, and there it is. How weird. Gene saying, wait, what? Yeah, exactly. I don't, I can't work out either. It is 5-5. Five, five. Eager is back on serve. I don't know why that happens. I just completely lost track of the score, but I predicted the future at the same time. It happens regularly here. But that's just the way things go. Eager back on serve at 5-5. Five, five. Now just two games away from her third Roland Garros title. It is a let. First serve again for Iga. Zach saying just knew she wouldn't hold serve. Iga long on the first. If Iga holds here, the pressure's just going to be really on Mukova.
forehand down the line from Mukova. Good backhand, but Eager's equal to all of her shots right now. It's into the net from Mukova. Snehill celebrating. Here we go. 15 love. It goes wide. Danny boy saying he could do it straight. Back out Mukova. And a slice from Mukova. Eager just peppering her backhand right now. Now cross court. Oh, winner down the line from Mukova. Really good. She's not done yet. Trish reckons it's going to be 7 5 for Eager to finish the match. Bill wants to know what kind of record does Eager have in third sets. If you're just joining, make sure you've hit a like on the video, subscribed. If you want to help support the channel, join the membership. Forehand from Eager. Mukova down the line. Eager balloons her backhand wide. 15.30. Bit of pressure on Eager. Well. At the end of this game, I'm going to use the bathroom just to get everybody aware. It is 15.30. God, the crowd are waiting. Eager's next serve. Serves in. Backhand. Oh, it's two break points. It's into the net from Eager. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think the Mukova's getting a few uh, chants right now of her own. Here we go. Serve long from Eager. Here we go. Serves in. Forehand Mukova. Wide from Eager. It's the break straight back. Mukova still going to serve again for this second set. we go right i'll be back in just a jiffy i'll just pop, leave you with this music i'm just going to use the bathroom quickly but mukwa will serve for the set again
All right, Mook of a serving. Inside out forehand. Forehand down the line. Too powerful from Eager. And it is a love 15. Wow, it looks like we're destined for a tie break. Neither player can really hold their serve at the minute. First serve points one. Mukova only 47%. The first serve points one. If you're just joining us, remember to hit a like on the video and subscribe. Send us a super chat if you want a player button played of your choosing. Bonnie reckons if Mukova wins second set, Eager is done. Double fault from Mukova. Looks like we will be going to a potential tie break here. No. Oh, there he is. Here we go. Sorry about that. Laptop <laughs> died. Got a makeshift. I've got the match on here. Nice. Ooh, and it but... seems like neither player can hold a serve at the moment. Not at all. Yeah. We're literally going back and forth. Mukova, the first sign of life there on her own serve. Double faulting in the last point. And it is. 15.30, she's got three points to win to just get this second set over the line. She's with the break. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Yeah. Ace. Brilliant serve. God, what a time for an ace. <laughs> Two points away from the set now. Eager under a lot of pressure. I can't believe this has happened, really. It's all started from that weird sort of volley at the net, which looked wide. Eager gave her the point. And ever since that moment, she's looked very vulnerable on her own serve. Yeah. Been broken pretty much every time since. Bit nuts, isn't it? 30 all. Big moment. She doesn't want to face a tie break. It's a shootout. Second serve. And someone's shouting out, like, what? Pick your times. Why shout out then? Yeah, the excitement. Backhand from Eager. Backhand cross. Big... It's long. Oh, it's long. Set it's point. Long. The muck of our set point. Wow. About to go free. Get ready, everyone. Right, so Mukova, the Carolina chants are running round the stands right now. If you're just joining us, make sure you've hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. 40-30. Good serve. Back in play from Eager. Oh, it's into the net from Mukova. Come on, Eager. Wow. <laughs> Do you Pressure. fancy her? If it goes tiebreak, who would you favour? I think eager. Because I think I think what we'll see in the tiebreak if it does go there, we'll just see both players yeah. lose lose so many games. Because yeah. on serve, there's not really an advantage at the moment. They're not serving well enough. No, there's no, there's nothing in it, is there? This one's been close. It's difficult than the to last. at the moment. It's extremely close. I think if it goes tiebreak, Mukova's not out of it. She's definitely not, but. There's part of me that just feels that eager that will just give her a little bit of an extra. Just get this done. Good serve from Mukova. Forehand's really good. Eager can only block it back. Mukova goes back behind. Great play. Yeah, clever. She's playing. This is the best tennis we've seen from her all match. When it matters. That is tense. Looped up a bit that far. You've got to remember, Eager's not dropped a set yet this tournament, and she's about no. to lose one here. 
Maybe. I think she had set point against Hadab Maya, if I'm right in recording, but she still didn't lose a set. Well, we've got another set point here. Backhand from Eagers in. Mukova's backhand was the good shot. And Eagers just moving her around. Oh, she's Ooh. got it back. Forehand from Eager. She's got Mukova on the run. She's running everywhere. Eager forehand. Oh, it's reset the rally. Well played, Mukova. Eager, massive forehand. It's in. Mukova loops it up again. What is she doing? Long, oh, I mean. my word. Well played, Eager. Four massive forehands from Eager. They all look like winners. They all came back. How the hell did Mukova keep getting the ball back? I'll never know. Recovery skills of a. Of it was a the second giant. one. It was the backhand. I think it was the backhand from Eagle one. The, like, might have been the second point. Incredible. Yeah. Wow. Back to juice we go. Seven rally that was. Was it 17? I can't really see it. It was a bit small. Game duration six minutes. Right, juice. Eagle oh, yeah. two points away from the tire break. Mukova two points away from the set. Serves good. Ego returns. The volley's not bad either. <gasps> oh, my word. Oh. She keeps getting there. The Ego oh. can't get there. This is what we were missing, Ben. This yeah. is exactly what we was missing in the first set. We're getting it now. And I think for that point alone, Mukova deserves this set. That was outstanding tennis. Well played to Eager for chasing everything down as well, making that an interesting rally. She didn't give up on it, did she? But oh. that last one just proves a little bit too much. I think Alcalaz might have got there. <laughs> I don't think he would have. Not even, not, not even Alcalaz would have got to that last one. He would have just jumped in the air and then somehow He wouldn't have got it, it with a cramp, that's for sure. No, definitely couldn't get near anything with that. Well, set point Mukova yet again. Wow. What play. I mean, resolve from Mukova right now. Proving she can get into the top 10 if she wins here today. Oh, first serves nervy. Trying to win her first ever set in a Grand Slam final. Not easy. Definitely not. Against Eager. A, a one set shootout after this. I don't think Eager's lost a set in a Roland Garros final yet either. So it's long. She's lost one now. She's lost one now. It's going to free. Mukova ties it up. Seven five in the second. Match on. That's it, mate. Let's get that Mukova button out. It's well deserved. I've never known a button more deserved than this one. I'm telling you. Can't believe her. Never seen her. It's Carolina. Oh, oh, oh. When she plays, it's so damn fine She know I should take her time Look at her go, she's in her prime We gonna finish you one last time oh, oh, oh. Well, there goes my prediction of straight set, Sega. I didn't see it was gonna happen when she went up an early break I thought it was going to be more of the same, but Mukova stayed in there, and that was a by far best set of tennis. She hit uh, twelve winners versus yeah. five from Ego in the second set. Twelve unforced errors for Ego, fifteen unforced errors for Mukova. Why is Ego not finding? Why is she not finding any winners at all? What's I feel happened? like. Recovery skills have really gone up a level from Mukova right now. I feel that that's the one thing she was missing in, in the first set. She she looks a bit like deer in the headlights, and now she looks so good. She looks like the the Mukova against Sabah in the final set. Now she's really chasing everything, working hard. That's what the one thing that I didn't really know much about Mukova's like drive on the court and how she runs everything down until this Roland Garros. Now I've got a whole new respect for it. Look at that. I mean, she fell over on the court, dropped the racket and still won the point. So fair play to Mukova. She has pushed this to a third set. What did I, I can't even remember. I was trying to think what was my, <coughs> when I said my pre-match set prediction, what did I say? I can't remember. Did I say seven, five Mukova? I can't remember. You might have. 
I don't know. Feel free to go back and check it. I just want to run. Was seven five, but eager. <laughs> I want. I, I want to six three seven five eager. I want to run and just grab a beer quickly. I'm, I'll literally be about three minutes. So there's probably a toilet break going on right now. Keep everyone occupied. Sing them a song. Uh, Mamadou's just sent in a uh, super chat. Appreciate that. It's Saying Mamadou. Mamadou. It's all over. Uh, it's an all-court tennis player. I didn't say all over the court. Yeah, she's both of those things. But yeah, I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. That's what they say in old days. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think you have to be old to know what that means. Right, uh, I will be back. Gary will probably concur in the uh, live chat in a sec. Right. <laughs> no worries, Ben's off. Sorry, guys, about the setup and the lack of mic. My laptop died and my uh, charger is not in basically this flat where I'm in at the moment. So this is the best I can do. But I do have the match on. I can see a little bit of the live chat. And as long as you guys can hear me, that is the main thing. And yeah, it's been actually a really entertaining match. We thought it was going to be going the way we always think these matches do go. And that's going to be eager dominant. She won the first one. The second set, we're thinking, is it going to be a bagel? She was two love up. And I don't know, Mukova from that moment where she managed to break back, has looked a different player. She's grown in confidence. Ben's touched on it well. Her recoverability... It's been a really, really impressive. She seems to be able to get back a lot more balls than what she was able to uh, at the start. And the other factor we're not really spoke about is Eager's lack of winners. Five winners in a second set for Eager is not enough. If she produced only five winners in this third set, she is going to lose this match. And I really did not think I'd be saying that here today because I thought this would be a very straightforward Eager victory. But the third set is underway. We're going to have Eager serving first. She's lost her first set of Roland Garros. And I'm not sure what we're going to be in for here in the third. Maybe maybe it's going to be close. Mukova will fancy her chances. She wins the first point as well. Love 15. We've got Todd Hill in. Going for an eager 6 3. I don't know. I can't call it. I think it's going to be. Why not tie break? I'm not sure which way, but let's go tie break. I think this match could be won from early, actually. Who can take the first lead? And eager, she's shouting at herself. She looks rattled. She's making mistakes. It's actually love 30 now for Mukova. Is Mukova going to turn this match around completely? She's looking the better player at the moment. She's looking the more composed, <laughs> eager, shouting at her box, not hitting the ball clean. What a shock this one could be. Here we go, into the point. Good shot there from Eager. Slice back from Mukova. Forehand cross court, Mukova. Three break points now. Three break points coming up. Mukova looking for the early break. What has happened to Ego? First time she could be losing the match. Mukova looks a little bit, a little bit like uh, Krajikova. Does anyone see similarities between the two Czech women? How they look? She reminds me of her at times, especially when she's running onto the forehand. Misses the first serve. Second serve coming up. What is going on? It's a double fault. It's a double fault from Eager. <laughs> Let's see if I can give and get a button out on here. I don't want to lose everything. I might be able to even get a button out for you guys. Well, Mukova, one love up in the final set. So far, on track to win her first Grand Slam. So 
So we've seen Sabalenka collapse against Mukova. Are we going to be looking at another big, high-profile player also collapse against Mukova? She comes in, volleys it past Iga, 15 loves. She's running away with this match. It's a really good forehand down the line. Iga could only run and just sort of get the ball back, barely. What's going on? I'm away for a second. Mukova's already up a break. Here we go. Oh, my Last word. Six points, Mukova's one in a row. What the hell is going on? She's turning up for the big occasion. Oh, my. Eight. eight. Make that eight. Eight, my eight points. Eager yet to win a point in this third set. What's happening to Eager right now? Is this the start of uh, everybody else realising a way to play against Iga Sviontek on clay? Which is what, though, Ben? What's You've got to so have different? endurance. You've got to have legs for days. You've got to run everything down. Maybe it's just it's just a mentality thing from Mukova, though. She's just that much of a very uh, determined player on court. Yeah, she's very fierce. And a great serve as well. That's the one thing... True. Like you said, it's really surprised both of us, her serve this tournament. Yeah. But her backhand has got a great serve. And Mukova one's not bad either. That's four aces for her. Either zero aces. On this clay as well, not easy to ace anybody. No, certainly not eager. Great returner. There's another another. One back to back. <laughs> and that is eight points in a row in this set. Wow. I think 10 now in a, in a row in the match. That is crazy. Well, get the brake button out and we'll get the Mukova button out straight away. Oh, oh, sorry, apologies. Not the brake, the consolidation. Consolidation. Apologies. I've been pressed a couple of wrong ones today. I need your uh, assistance. Eager gets a cheap point there off of the first serve, the first point of this third set. And the big thing to note is Mukova in the lead with a break for the first time in this Grand Slam final. That's massive. Yeah, if you are just joining, make sure hit the like button on the video. Subscribe to Gain to Love. How many likes are we on now? 145. So let's get to 200 likes. This is better from Iga, and she gets some points on the board here. 30 love. Mukova can't return it. I still feel it's even, though, this third set in terms of she's up a break. Things can turn on it quickly. I predicted tie break, by the way. Okay. I still don't think it means too much, the early break. If, if anything, perfect. No, I think three. it does mean a lot, because I think it's now showing that there's a signal of intent from Mukova. And I think Iga's not used to this feeling. So I, I do think it is significant, but I do still think Iga will be able... She will get an opportunity to potentially break back. Yeah. She will get a an opportunity. I just don't know when it's going to come. She's in a match but now. But she's saying Mukova is his new favourite. Wow. How, how strange is it that this whole match changed upon that one point, though? I know. Such a significant moment in the match. I mean, it's going to be spoken about. No, not really. Us. No one's speaking about it. I don't we're, think anyone else thought it was out. Well, we're, we're going to be speaking about it on our post-match, no matter what. Well, I need to see it again. Yeah. Well, they didn't show it again. That's what the craziest thing for me was. They just confirmed, oh, it was definitely in. Just because Eager just didn't challenge it, which I thought was weird. Someone she, shouted out. I think the umpire over... Yeah, but she was she was cruising at three love at that stage. You realise? I know. That's the horrible thing. Maybe it was overconfidence. Just like, oh yeah, just allow that one to just be. That's long from Mukova there. Yeah. Forty fifteen. What's your prediction? 
Oh, well, my one's going to look a bit... I went for 6-2, didn't I? Prior. So it's just been 6 on the bounce. No, not prior, but... Well, you... oh, well it's too late now. Then. Yeah, it's a bit late once there's already a break, but I... if it happens 6-2, it'll be even more crazy. There's nothing to say that Eager won't win six games in a row. I'm telling you that now. I don't think she will. Wow. There's one. <laughs> <laughs> Very good one. Big day of sport today. Got a big one coming up later on as well. Champions League. Are you going to watch it? Probably not. Oh, <laughs> that's big, Ben. It is a big day for if you're a Man City supporter. I bet there'll be a lot of United fans watching it, cheering on Inter Milan tonight. Mate, Champions League final is always one to watch. Why are you not going to watch it? I don't have any interest in either team, so... Don't like Inter? Should I got my get... Inter jersey there. I might I'm, wear I'm warming. I'm starting to warm to them a bit. Maybe it'll take me a couple more seasons. I'm a Na I'm a Napoli man, so I can't really warm to Inter. I see. Yeah, everyone has their teams from other countries that they support. Uh, Inter definitely yours, I guess. So it's passed down, isn't it? Yeah. Please don't tell me you want to see Man City win, though. That would be devastating. I don't mind. Don't mind. This that's a bit flip floppy in the middle there. Just like you're happy just to see Inter lose. I don't mind City winning. I don't like Man United, so So this is I feel this is a running theme with you. It's like I'd rather see somebody else. I'd rather instead of having an invested interest in that other team, I'd rather just that team loses for another reason. This is the Rafa thing all over again. <laughs> It's not. It is. It's like it's like the Djokovic and Man United are like in the same category, I think, for you. I don't know, Arsenal probably. Oh, Arsenal probably in a whole category of their own. Djokovic doesn't even make that category. <laughs> Definitely don't. <laughs> That's not, it's not even close. Oh, oh great oh, backhand. Down the line. Come on, love 15. Oh, we got I'm Sanuke. It feels like she's going to get an opportunity to break back. How many uh, Arsenal fans are saying this? Next year's is Arsenal. Uh, <laughs> Arsenal won't get top four next year. It's a big call. Wait for the Premier predictions. Love 15. Eager. Could she go on a storming run? We've had it fairly recently where she lost two games at the start of a set and then she won the next six. That one just in from Mukova. Goes down the line. Oh, it's hit the net cord. Oh, oh, what a bit of luck. Last 30 now. Here she comes. That's it. I mean, what a bit of luck that is, though. It doesn't get much luckier with a net cord than that because it bounced over her. Yeah. She almost got that. <laughs> Dusted. It always just makes makes you look like a fool as well when you've gone for it and then you have to readjust and do this weird waving of a racket to try and get the next ball. Love 30. This third set about to get interesting. Mukova won the first eight points in this uh, third set. Let... Flaming service. Oh, good catch. Crowd always applaud those. <laughs> like a good catch. Unless it's from a ball kid, then they'll happily just go with the default. Oh, that's a terrible first serve. Yeah, what happened to those days of just ball kids just... Well, they give them the racket and they come on the court and then they play for a bit and then it's all all right. What, in a Grand Slam final? No, not not today, but I just mean in just general. <laughs> the grand, the grand, if they do in a Grand Slam final, it would be crazy. It would be ridiculous. I'd stop watching tennis. I'd love it. Maybe that's what Egan needs to do. First set, she just gives it to the ball Missed kid. it. Missed it. Three break points. Here we go. 
like I said, there's going to be an opportunity for Eager to break back. I didn't think it would be so soon, but that's the way it's played out. And you'd fancy you could take one of these. I think Nature Explorer is watching the wrong final tonight. Arsenal nil, Real Madrid 4 apparently going for tonight. That'll be an interesting one. Don't know where you'll be watching that. Is that the women's uh, plan? Oh, good volley from Mukova. It's looped down. Oh, good, good relaxed shot. volley from Mukova there with the backhand. Yeah. How long's this match been, Ben? Two hours thirteen. The okay. two one oh two hours fourteen. Two one three. It always whenever, whenever I see two one three, I always think of uh Snoop Dogg. He had like a little rap band with Nate Nate Dogg and Warren G called Two One Three. You know what I think of? What? How long it took Alcaraz to lose his legs. Is that exactly the same time? Two thirteen. <laughs> How weird. Well, Djokovic, he takes your legs, then he takes your soul. Imagine if he turns in... it took for Alcaraz to lose all feeling in his legs and body. Imagine if Alcaraz turns into Massetti after that last one. Into the Come net. On. Eager's back. Two all. Break for Eager Sviontek. No, no bagels, no, no breadsticks, but we are back on serve. And Eager has won two games in a row and going for a 3 2 lead now. Eager, Eager, Spionte. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Breadstick in a bagel and I'm Eager. I'm a feature. I'm a feature. I'm gonna feature. I'm what a third set it is. We are level at 2 2. Eager steps in with a big backhand. Mukova down the line misses. We got Rachel saying, Poor Alcalaz, love him so much. Well, we'll get into that. We are going to do a podcast. It will follow this final. We will be putting out, because we didn't really do a post-match reaction to Djokovic Alcalaz. We feel it deserves it. So we will be do giving our thoughts on how that match played out. Didn't really play out in the exact way anybody thought, I don't think. I mean, the scoreline maybe, but not the way the match did. Good slice there from Mukova. Brings Eager in. Brilliant forehand. It wasn't even a top spin. He just pushed past it. And uh, Mukova was sort of stepping into the court and it just got placed just behind where her uh, footing was. Yeah. No, she just guessed wrong just slightly. We got Zach saying, I hope Mukova can hang on in there. Yeah, don't forget how difficult it is to claim back-to-back -back Roland Garros titles. There's an ace from Eager. On the women's side, it's near, nearly unheard of. The only person in the last, I think, 20 years has been Justine Anan. And she was, well, of her era, just a, a clay court maestro. 40 love. How a tennis match can change. It's long. It's game to love. It's consolidation. And Eager leads after being behind to love in this third set. Eager.
bakery be opening but it won't be open today because we're not gonna get a bagel or a breadstick for me the player well it's all fitted didn't really know what i was gonna say until i said it but it sort of works so that's what we like we've got gary in saying mukava wins a set and eager tightens the screws Snail saying three games in a row. Yazda, keep it going. Could she win six in a row? Snail says, where's JG again? Just adjusting positions, probably. Uh, obviously on his phone at the moment. If you are just joining us, make sure you hit a like on the video. We're up to 157. Let's get that up to 243 likes away. I'll put it on the screen for you if you want the reminding. There you go. 50, 157 likes. Let's get that one up. Eager changing a racket quickly. Should have changed that at the changeover, though. Weird to suddenly change it as they go back on court. Here we go. We're on serve. 3 2. Eager. Muck of a serving, though. Edgar in saying, Eager is awesome. Good serve, Mukova. Long from Eager. Are we going to see now both players holding serve? How often do we see that? Cheers to everybody hitting the like button. It's growing ever so slightly. Serve just long. Second serve. Just into the net from Eager. That's a bit poor. I think Mukova just sort of taking her time, slowing things down, making sure. She's playing on her own terms right now. She doesn't want to play on Eagers. We've got Thanuke suggesting something that some other people have suggested as well. How about doing buttons for Legends of the Past? Steffi Graf. Love to see that. Yeah, but we never have we never cover them. <laughs> That's a problem. Good back and a nice forehand there from Eager. Nice winner. And the likes going up. Here we come. Here we go up to 161. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Serving here. 3015. Still has it on a racket in this game. Just long. Second serve. Someone's shouting out. Oh, the likes are going up. We're up to 164. Cheers, everybody. Backhand. Long from Eager. 40-15. Oh, 165. Oh, the crowd's starting to chant the big clap. 166. Getting closer to 200. Cheers, everybody. Serves it. No, just long from Mukova. Serving. Seeing. Eager wide and Mukova back on the board again. There she goes. 3-3. Three, three, stops the rot. And there'll be no 6-2 for Eager in this final set. And she doesn't get six games in a row. Can't believe her. Never seen her. It's Carolina. Mukova.
Mokova, that's right. 3-3 three, three in the third set. We are two hours 23 into this one. Half past five Paris time. The likes going up. Appreciate everybody who's hitting that like button. Forehand inside out. Backhand from Eager. Backhand Mukova. Backhand Eager. Down into the forehand of Eager now. Looped up. And into the net from Eager there. We've got Zach in saying, oh, Rafa fanatic, but I've got nothing but respect for Novak. I admire him. He's unbelievable. If he wins tomorrow, I think he's the undisputed. Wow. Big words from a Rafa fan. That one, Zach. Not many would step forward and uh, give that admission. Yeah, Gary saying that makes you a classy Rafa fan. <laughs> there you go. Eager. Love 15. Missed the first serve. Second serve coming. Here we go. Second serve. Double fault from Eager right now. Struggling to find a rhythm at the moment. That's what I would say. Not doing exactly as she would like. And... I feel that uh, Mukova will gain confidence from this. Seeing Eager faltering like this, not something that many of her opponents see. Credit to Mukova for her never-say-die attitude on court. That's the one thing that... The one takeaway from Roland Garros this year that I certainly will never forget is Karolina Mukova just never giving up. If you are just joining, make sure hit a like. We're only 29 likes away from 200. But there is a special drone that comes out when we hit that one. Slice Mukova. Forehand eager. Mukova's there with a slice again. Cross court. Mukova goes cross court with a forehand. Eager not putting her away, but she doesn't have to. She goes long there, does Mukova. Thanks to everybody who just smashed that like button. We're up to 174. One seven four, good number. Not quite as good as two hundred, but I like it. Fifteen thirty. Eager able to just grab a point there from an error from Mukova. Serves in Mukova backhand. Backhand from Eagers just in. Great forehand down the line from Mukova. It lands mid-court. Drop shot, Mukova. Eager gets there, but Mukova puts away the volley. And we have got break point. Can't believe her. Never seen her. It's Carolina. Mukova. The way she plays is so damn fine. She knew I should take her time. Right, look at this. The likes coming in. Everyone loving the muck of a song. Two break points. It is up to 178, 22 away from 200. Chopped back in play. Eager goes forehand. Muck of a power forehand. Eager can only chop now. They swapped roles. And now a chop from Eager. It's going miles long. It's the break. It goes to Muck of a. I can't believe it. Like the song says, can't believe it. That's it. Mukova. Can't believe her. Never seen her. It's Carolina. Mukova. The way she plays is so damn fine. She knew I should take her time.
Yes, come on, let's do this. 180 likes on the video. Let's get that. 181, it's going up one by one. 181. Mukova, upper break, gonna serve this out, is she, JG? <laughs> mm, not so sure. Not so sure. Still, I've been watching the match. I'm sorry, I've not been able to commentate. It's not been easy to stop the firing, but yeah, I mean, she played very well there. I think Eager looks nervous. I've never seen her so nervous. She's rattled. Eager's, yeah. The thing is with Eager, in finals, I can't recall her ever really losing many. The only recent one I can recall is the Barbara Kachikova one, where she lost in, in the Czech Republic. She's playing someone who's playing extremely good tennis, who is willing to fight to the bitter end. And you see her, she's rattled with her box. She looks very nervous, like yeah. she's jolting on the shots. There's no that, there's no that rhythm she's lost. Usually she wins everything so straightforward in these finals, that six love, six one, six twos. She's in a in a bit of a weird weird place, basically. And I think she doesn't know how to handle it. And it poses the question as well. We were talking about the female big three. We were talking about the Rabakina, the Sabalenka, the Iga. Is Mukova going to start to push her name into that bracket with performances like this? Winner from Iga. I don't know. I don't think so. Difficult to be negative. She's about to win a Grand Slam, but yeah, let's <laughs> wait and see. <laughs> Tough, tough. It, like I do feel a little bit like it could be quite like Kachikova. I I disagree completely. I don't feel like this is a Kachikova style player at all. I feel Kachikova is solid, but I, very I flaky. see similarities between the two. I think Mukova's got a better serve, but I think they're quite. The only similar. similarity is they're both Czech. That's it. No, they both chase everything down, and they're very tricky opponents to play against. I don't feel and like quite strong. I don't feel like Kajikova is as fast around the court, though. Well, here we go. Iga threatening the break. Love 30. That's it. Thanks, everyone who's liking the video. Up to 183 now. I'll keep it updating on the screen. Let's get to 200. If you are one of the 500 in and you haven't smashed it yet, it does just help us with the algorithms. Or oh, that's the only reason we ask. Not for vanity. Don't lie, Ben. You love the likes. I do. I go out and I parade them around the street. <laughs> <laughs> Tap people on the shoulder in the pub. I was like, look how many likes on this video. <laughs> 184. You never had that, have you? Right, take us through the point. Love 30 anyway. Big one here. Yeah. Good second serve. Wide from Eager. Bit loose there, isn't it? 15.30. Hmm. I can't believe this match seemed almost over at three, love, in the second. Yeah, it's a weird one to assess. This but is then, a Grand Slam final as well. Mukova about to maybe win her first ever Grand Slam against Eager at Roland Garros. What a story. I don't, I don't think it's even close yet. That's the problem. I feel like it's so Who's far Who's going to have a beat just to get here? Because I feel like there's been some tough matches. Begu. Well, she's had, she's had a much tougher run. Like, yeah. She's had to beat Pavlyuchenkova, a former finalist. She's had to beat Begu. She had to beat Podoroska, a former semi-finalist. She's had to beat... Uh, who's the other one? There was another one. Oh, Sarkari, number 8C. <laughs> of course. Well, in the opening match. Begu, 27th seed. Someone she lost to recently. She's had a ridiculous draw. Sabalenka. How about That's that? Out, though, and it's going to be two break points for Iga. She yeah. went long on the forehand. Eager opportunity to get this to the business end and for all. This is tense. As tense as it gets, really. Break points one. Five out of seven for Iga. Five out of six for Mukova, is that right? right. So Amazing for Mukova. Again, that's the semi-final and the final. She's won 10 out of 11 break points. That's ridiculous conversion. Eager's conversion is quite good today as well. Yep. So that's... it makes me wonder, there's probably going to be a break here and we're going to be going four all. Yeah, I mean, I've not been convinced on either women's serve in this fi uh, final set. 
190 likes, 10 away from 200. Eager with the backhand down the line. Mukova gets it back in cross court. Forehand cross court. Mukova now. Cross court from both. Drop shot. Mukova. Eager's in. Plays it down the line, but long. He missed it. Easy shot. Don't see you make many of them. Oh, come on, Ben. That's a simple shot. Of the double backhand put away. Look at this again. It's so simple. This point, we keep seeing this double backhand. They're trying to top spin it all the time. You don't have to top spin every single shot. No, you did the same that. thing on the in the forehand side as well on the first set. It just bugs the drop me. The that... shot's there. She gets there plenty of time. You just have to play the ball down the line. It's not that tricky. It really yeah, isn't. With the top spin, it loops it up. That's the one thing you have to remember. I, don't, I know there's the danger. Ace from Mukova to save the next break point. It, there is a danger with the with the slice that you will slice it down into the net. That's the main worry. Do you know the crazy thing about all these aces from Mukova? Eager's not moved on them. No. Like you've not even seen her approach Handstand. either side. She's just been rooted to the spot. The yep. serves have been that good. She's incredible at serving. It's getting better and better, I serve. Six aces. Oh, nearly another great first serve there, but it was never going to be the case after all of that. <laughs> you knew it was going to fall off a bit now. It always happens. I don't know why. Good backhand from Ego. Gets her dashing backwards. Forehand from Ego. Now volley from Ego. Too good. Big point. Another Nasty. break point. That conversion I mean, is not getting as good though for Ego at the moment. I mean, She's losing her percentage. Five three. She cannot allow. She cannot go five three. Otherwise, nerves have got to go on like another level. Uh, five three. I still think she can come back though. Ben. Oh yeah, she can. For sure. I feel like the nerves from Mukova goes like completely off the scale. There's no other level of nerves. You don't feel like other matches. This, if it was five three, I still think Ego's in this one. I feel like she's always in it with Roland Garros. That's the, the problem for her opponent. I feel if she breaks here, break point. if she breaks here, Eager holds next as well. That's the problem for Mukova. Eager not moving much, I must admit, on this second step. She steps in, backhand, cross court, sliced Mukova, goes back into that same corner, Mukova down the line. Great shot. Oh, it's a and terrible it's drop, drop shot. shot. Iga, she's back for all. Come on. Yes, Yasda! The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager when I'm eager. I'm a feature. I'm gonna feature. I'm eager. I'm gonna see ya. Now you can't handle my heat now. Yasda! 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 This is Long. where the champion's going to be made. Wow. Business end. Grand Slam final. Mukova gets the first point of the business end. Love 15 on Iga's serve. Iga going for her third Roland Garros. Her fourth Grand Slam title. Mukova going for her first Roland Garros and Grand Slam title. She's played really well though, Mukova. She's grown into the match. And I can't call it. I really can't. The, nice. At the start of the third, I thought it would go tie break. And that currently is still on. The only thing that Mukova has an advantage now is she's been there before. She's been deep in the third set. She's been to this like stage in the, even in the last Not round. Not in the Grand Slam final, though, Ben. No, but in the semis she has against the best player on tour this year, Sabalenka. But this is another animal. This is Iga Sviantec. This is Roland Garros. This is her turf right now we're talking about. Wow. Doesn't get closer than this, I'm telling you. Iga digging deep. Love 30. Long. Oh, my word. How many Neither breaks? lady can serve. The only thing is, Mukova's got the advantage because 
If she can break it, she serves for the match. All she has to do is get it together for one service it's game. Not an advantage. I just feel like it's just she just has the game advantage. Good. Oh, big winner, Eager. Come yeah, on, that's brilliant. I still think Eager holds line. here. Yeah, this match is going to go down as a bit of a classic now. I don't know how Eager holds, but I feel that she will hold in this one. I don't. I think she gets broken, man. I feel that she holds, and then. I feel it might be a deuce, though. It might be a long deuce, and then she holds. I reckon we'll get a break point. Two likes from 200. If you're one of the 570 who hasn't hit the like button, do it now. Come on. Great serve from Eager. Put away the ball. No, she hasn't. It's looped up from Mukova, but long. Oh, that was such a waste. Mukova could have gone down the line. She could have gone anywhere apart from yeah. long. She just needed to keep that one in play. Even if she looped it down the middle and just ex and waited for Eager to hit a big smash. Mukova messed them up earlier on. There's no nothing to say that Eager could have messed up the smash. She just needed to keep the ball in. Tried yeah. to be too clever, maybe. 30 all. 30 all. Here we go again. Are we going to get this break point? I feel like we're going to. Let's. We're up to a 199 on the likes. Who's going to be the number 200? Could you be the famous one? I always find that if I don't have breakfast, then the match will always go until for the, to the bitter end. That's the way it always happens. Good. Never have breakfast then. <laughs> I think that's the key. I think with... Do you remember the Rafa Medvedev one? Yeah. <laughs> that was the same. No breakfast, and then it, we were on there for six, like six, seven hours, that whole stream. It was, I was delirious by the end. It's back in play. Inside that finds long from go. Eager. There we go. That's the break point, Ben. Well, here we the go. The question it's is, too... will she take it? <laughs> Still good and well getting them, but Eager, I don't know. She does, she's been making more errors than usual. From the second the pressure. The pressure. Thanks to everyone who whacked that like button. We're up to 202 likes on the video now. I'll keep it updated. You keep me working. Break point. Mukova. Good return. Back and eager. Slice from Mukova just over the net. She goes back behind Mukova. She's looped it up. I think it's long. Yeah. Yeah. Long. She saved the break point. Brett Juice. Going where I said. Going to Juice. Yeah, you didn't think there was going to be a break point, did you, Ben? I thought the Eager's just going to hold from a Juice. I didn't specify break points. Well, if Eager does hold, well, do we get match points on the next one? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so too. That's what I mean. That's why I feel like that's It, it, it gonna... feels like there's so many opportunities on either player's serve at the moment. It's into the net Ooh, from Mukova. That could be it, mate. This well, match is being won on the return. Literally. If you are just joining, please hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Eager locked in a third set against Mukova. She beat Sabalenka in the round before. She's looking really good here today. She's had a break in the second, in the third set. She's been pegged back. And now Eager looking to go 5-4 up. Finds the first it's into the, into the net. net. She does. She saves break point and goes 5-4 up. She's one game away from Roland Garros, number three. Eager. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel and I'm eager. 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 i when we saw the three love, you were saying, is it a bagel? I was like, yeah, just blase. Just completely ignoring the fact that it could turn on a sixpence. It did turn. Well, it doesn't happen often. In fact, no. it's the first time I've ever seen an eager match turn in the way it has done. Credit. I've never seen her from a set up like she was in the first. Three love up in the second. Just doing her thing. 
looking good. Was it was it free love or two yeah. love then? Free love. And then just no, it could almost went four love, didn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, pretty insane. And then how it's just completely switched over. Never seen it happen before. And to happen in the Grand Slam final, of course, it is special because it makes it more entertaining to commentate on. Because no one knows what really is going to happen. But one thing we've been right with, and that is that there's opportunities on the on the on the serve. And yeah. I feel we could be looking at maybe some match points here. Good forehand from Iga. Mukova on the stretch. Down the line from Iga. Looped up by Mukova. It's long. Yeah. Love 15. There's we one got... point. Yeah. Three more we... to go. We got Ardil in. What our second on our top tip is now. Sankit came in yesterday. Knocked yeah. him off the top. The Rafa fan Rafa, knocking. Rafa, didn't Rafa, want Rafa. didn't want Djokovic on the top for the final. I'm sure Ardil will put pay to that and just kick Sankit back down there. And we'll get Nole back to the top. Don't you worry, Ardu. He does not miss his Sankit instantly. I can, re I can rely on you. Sankit can stick with JG, that's for sure. Uh, and saying cheers, guys. GTL with cheers, a beer. Well, cheers to you as well. Here's a beer for you, Ardu. One of our members. Second serve. Love 15. Three points away right now. I'll just I'll take care of it. No worry. <laughs> it's gonna, he's gonna clean sank it out. Just a baller. That's it. Those two were the. It's long. Love were the battle. Ben. Uh oh, Spadudios. It is predictable in a way, though. We know, we've predicted it very well in terms of this third set opportunities on both. Eager yeah. holding is so so big. Breaking back and then holding, it, it's really difficult to do in this third set. And because she's done that, I feel now she will get the rewards of a match point or two. Let's wait and see. Mukova. Two points away from the title. Who would have thought the serve, the thing that's done her so proud? That's a good Ooh. serve. The thing that's doing her so proud is the thing that could be her undoing. That would be the worst part of it. Yeah, she needs like an ace. This one needs to be an ace. Otherwise, I don't think she wants the rally, man. Otherwise, championship points. Oh, I need to pump Two hours, chair. 45 on the clock. Wow. How is this going to go? Muck of a serving. Ah! Good serve. It's in play. Forehand. It's wide. It's Missed it. And just like that, we have two championship points eager. Match point. It's not been the final we was expecting. It's been a long one. Ben thought it was going to go free. It's gone free. But it, no one thought it would be this topsy-turvy. Neither server taking control in the third. Two championship points. Mukova, can she find an ace to save one of them? Eager. Just one point away from her third roll on Garros title. Just long from the first serve. She went big, did Mukova. Was that yeah, wise? Party poppers ready. It is championship point for Eager. <laughs> the nerves. <sighs> it's a double oh! four. Oh, no. And what a way to end. Eager wins her third Roland Garros title. But what a way to finish. Mook of a double fault and Eager's on her knees. And she can't quite believe it. What a fight from both of these ladies. But a terrible way to end. I mean, it ruins the celebration a little bit there. I was yeah. going to go crazy. But it is a double fault to end it. Eager won't mind. She has won four Grand Slams. Tying up with Naomi Osaka as active players. Mukova, commiserations. But I think she did very well this event and pushed Iga further than anyone has ever pushed her at Roland Garros. Yeah, definitely. I mean, an incredible performance. I don't think... If you'd have said pre-tournament that we would see Carolina Mukova pushing Iga all the way to the limit 
in the final of Roland Garros, no one would have believed you. But here we are, and it is a reality. And she has to be considered now uh, in this 2023 era of like great women's players. We've got three or four really, really good players, maybe five we could extend it to. I think she needs to go into the picture now. She she is not in the top 10, but she moves up to number 16 in the world, does Mukova. And eager, she maintains her world number one status. This is the one thing. She's being pushed all the way this year. She's got so many points from last year to defend, and she's defending them. You're seeing her do it. She's still winning titles. She's still getting to finals. She's still the number one and the best player on tour by, on clay, some margin. Mukova proving that the margin's closing. That's all that we're seeing there, that players are starting to wake up a little bit, starting to work out how to play against her. But not everyone's a Karolina Mukova. Yeah, I think Mukova will be in the top 10 very soon. Certainly deserves to be there. And one who could do some damage on all of the surfaces. But I've really liked her on clay. And her serving has impressed me more than any part of her game. Because I didn't realise she was such a solid server. And if she can replicate that on the grass, you never know. Wimbledon next, she may do some damage there as well. But yeah. congratulations to Iga. Massive Yazda for her. She's done it again. Number three, Roland Garros. Four Grand Slam titles. Yazda! Iga! Iga! Stiante! The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager when I'm on the job. I'm a beach I'm gonna beach ya. I'm eager, I'm gonna suit ya. Now you can handle my heat now. That's right. One of the closest that we've seen eager pushed. It was just typical that she got her last uh, match as the toughest one of the tournament. That's how it should be in Grand Slam tennis. It, I mean, she rarely gets pushed. That's the problem. Like We, we rarely get to see her pushed to the limits. And in this tournament, she well and truly was pushed to the limit in that final. I feel the semi-final, she was she was pushed a little bit, and it just gradually got more difficult. So we got to see the sort of the evolution of the game, the evolution of the tournament. But I feel like a main takeaway from this one isn't just how great Eager is, but it's also how great Carolina Mukova was as well. So I think that she deserves a lot of plaudits in this tournament. Carolina Mukova making the final for the first time, giving a really good showing of herself. I mean, I thought it was an incredible performance. So she was 6-2-3 love down. She tried to do the great escape again. It just didn't come to fruition in the way that she would have really wanted it to. But you can't have everything you want in life. That's the problem. You can't have everything you want. Yeah, exactly. Ardil saying, Good to see Mukova push Ego. It really was a very enjoyable matchup and a very much a competitive one for a slam final. It was it was leaps and bounds above last year's final. Coco Goff not quite on that level yet. Doesn't quite have that that grit, determination, and all round game. I would say I feel that Coco Goff's good in certain areas. But Mukova being 26, she shows that she is like slightly older, slightly more wise and slightly more powerful in certain situations as well. So you've got to have a full all round game to be able to get to a slam final, but it only takes the best to be able to win them. I'm sure Mukova will be back there again, but eager this time. It belongs to you. Well done. A fourth Grand Slam. And a third Roland Garros title. I'm going to wrap this one up and just say thanks to everybody who did join us for this one. Make sure if you didn't hit the like button, do so now. And make sure to join us later on. We're going to be going through. We're going to have a review of Djokovic Alcalaz and just uh, give our thoughts on it because we didn't get a chance to do a post-match on that one yesterday. And just uh, now the dust has settled. 
we can finally start speaking about. But Igor Sviontek, Roland Garros champion for a third time. I'm sure it's definitely not going to be the last. And I think I expect to see double figures from Igor Sviontek in the future. So make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you a bit later on for a review of Alcalaz Djokovic. But make sure to join us for the men's final tomorrow. That one should be a really good final as well. Don't forget, Kasparu just absolutely battered the hell out of Sasha Zverev, last year's semi-finalist. The semi-finalist who nearly took out Rafa. He just bageled him in the semi-finals here. So Djokovic not going to have it all his own way. And make sure to join us for the preview of that later and the match tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you. Uh, and I need to go off and go and get some food, I think. God, it's been one of those days. Not eating yet. But congrats, Iga. Here's the button one more time. Over and out. Iga. Iga. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel and I'm eager when you're